bitch is gonna make no money. But she won't drop out of Paris and look at her funny. Ain't nipples was on bricking that joke. No, <laughs> she was all nipples. Hey, are y'all mad? I still hit her. No. I mean, just put on a put on a, a, a keep your Donald Trump mask. Put on a Donald Trump mask. <laughs> now nah, you gotta keep your jeans on. So you gotta fucking do all the dick holes. Gotcha. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just the bottom. No, but don't take my jeans all the way off, but y'all, because then the zipper. And then, I feel like you gotta oh, wear yeah. a disposable T-shirt, then cut a hole in that too. That's Man. like three different dick holes. You're fucking through. all disrespect. Man. Oh yeah, her titties look good as shit in this video. That was like 20 years ago, by the way. Oh, well, that was in 2001. That was 16 years old. Practically. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm Sabray. I'm Yada. Sean. And this is No, no Disclaimers, Disclaimers Podcast. Podcast. Yeah. When you say this is, I'll be here. This, this is. is. This is. <laughs> See, this is why we here. Yeah, we right here. Twinsies. Oh, that's old we even picked guys. up our glasses at the same right. time. Blood brothers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're happy and we're seeing and we're colored. Yeah. That video yeah. was so dope. Uh, no. Job malt liquor commercial. <laughs> the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I be singing that shit at work sometimes. So Bray don't be getting it. She be like, what the fuck do Shauna y'all be talking about? Job malt liquor. I don't be listening, Loki. That's a brand. It's, it's just your age. Cool. You're a millennial. <laughs> so are you. No, I'm not a millennial. We kind of don't even know. No. Yeah. I don't yes. even like those fucking, like, what the fuck is the money? I, I feel like people are, like, disrespecting people our age. Like, you millennials. That's because they're old as fuck. Yeah. Anywho. Millennials is not an insult. It's about the year that you were born. So, I mean. Jai like. Yeah. Jai like. Jai like. Because the people Jay-like. that talk about are. like. I thought it was J-I. J-I. No, we, we already. We. But the thing is, people, the same people that talk about our generation Generation, their generation fucked us up or contributed to the negative things in our generation. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck mm-hmm. them. Um, Did, yeah. No, I was just looking at that algae that you're drinking. It's actually <laughs> mineral water and it's. Um, That's me, it's a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is. Oh, I saw that. That's, yeah. That's me, it's a break. First of all, I know how to twerk. No, that's you. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Do, y- do y'all dance when y'all go? Up? Yeah. God, she leave. got the stars. <laughs> oh. That wasn't a cough. That was a laugh, but it was like some stuff stuck behind it. It's oh, like in your water. throat. I'm kidding. How did you get back there? Wow! 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 wow. wow. From the season chasing, it's Jesus. Sunday. Jesus. This Jesus is sweet. chlorophyll. See? Just drink one little glass of chlorophyll. In water, so I'm on this cleanse. It's called. It's by the Detox Now. It's by three, two black doctors or whatever. And it's it's amazing. You gonna turn I'm into hungry. a lawn. <laughs> what are you trying to? But what is your goal? Like, what does it do? Just to, to be a, your bra- body? a blade of gla- grass. So, <laughs> glass. So my goal with the cleanse was a lot of things. It was it was for discipline. Mm-hmm. You know, just to see uh, if you could do it. That and health. And she reasons. had to do this. Gotcha. Shut up. It's it's like <laughs> it's health benefits to it. Like it gives your organs a break for that seven days. Gotcha. Like it just gets gets like let your body replenish itself and all that. So is that all you drink? Um, or do you get to like? Have but you think you get to eat dinner. That's it. Yeah. So you drink chlorophyll and all day, and then you have can, dinner. You can have uh, grass. You, no, you can also have uh, <laughs> coconut water. All right. So what do you eat for like? All right. For can snack. you eat anything like, for you, you know for dinner, or you still have to like no pause, no meat, no meat. Okay. So you don't <laughs> eat all day, and then you get to eat a carrot. <laughs> You're a I rabbit. I get to eat. I get to eat. Um, like, uh, I bet you should be eating bok choy. Like, should you old bok choy eating ass? I love nigga. bok choy. So, bok choy eating No, but ass I can't nigga. even have that. It's very specific. Would you eat Y'all like a go... handful of quinoa or some shit? No, uh, that, no, like a jackfruit, and you can make jackfruit into different stuff. You can what do the fuck is a curry. jackfruit. A jackfruit. Y'all gotta Google it. I saw starfruit for the first time. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's a lot of shit we know. What's, what's jackfruit, and it's, where can you get it? Is that how like to make jack bombs? Or like an organic market, you can't get that from Giant or nothing. Yeah, I'm you gotta go like pears. Trader Joe's or some yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna just yeah. stick to pears. I've been eating pears. So like, you can <laughs> pears nasty as shit. You can Your make mother. it into it's like, like one curry. of the nastiest fruits. You're tripping, tripping. I fuck with pears. Pears, pears? are fucking delicious. Okay. Shout out to the pears. What like, you eat? What fruit you eat? Do you ever see people like at work eating pears? 
No, because people, people are don't failures. Fuck with pears. Yeah, because people people are eating work, Popeyes. No. People at work eat trash, usually. Pears are fucking people torch. Don't, fuck don't ever disrespect pears again. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what's the what's the best fruit? It depends. It depends on. Give me your top three best fruits. Low on a glycemic index or high on a glycemic index? I don't even know what your the fa- fuck you just said. Your favorite. He doesn't <laughs> care about the sugar content. I like apples. Apples, like, you know, like the... Grapes. G- okay. Which, hold on. And which, mangoes. I can... Yeah. Okay, that's cool. How about you, Yada? Um, I like pears. I like <sighs> plums. Me too. Plums is number one for me. And I like peaches. Ooh. I fuck with peaches, too. Me too. Yeah. What oh, about you? Plums... Peaches, probably mangoes. I yeah. like clementines too. I don't know. The little, the little oranges. The little mini ass oranges. Oh yeah, yeah. But are they GMOs? They have seeds. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but um, that was interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, what y'all do this weekend? Again. Other than my my cleanse, like I just my can't. Germs. I just went to a motherfucking bridal shower with some bomb ass food that just smelled good, and I just okay, didn't yeah. eat. You're, was that um from the the don't you go to the gym with her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to that. my girl Melinda. It's dope. I kept First calling of all, her Miranda. I'm sorry. It's okay. You look beautiful. Thank you. I didn't know you wore heels. I don't think I've ever seen you. I mean, like you wore those big ass like clogs or wedges for like the photo shoot. But I've First never of all, seen those like, were wedges. wedges. They, were, sandal they were strappy heels. sandals. Yeah. They were. Heels. Don't disrespect her. Same those thing to me. No, why? They were a single heel, like a Fiesta skinny heel at that. Okay. But I, I, I never see... I mean, most of the time I see you, I mean, you're standing. So, of course, you wouldn't have on heels. Or I see you in right. here and you're barefooted. Yeah. Or, you know, wearing a robe like usual. But I didn't know you were. I was like, damn, so right, you got wear heels? That's dope. Yes. It's so disrespectful. So, I do wear heels on occasion. Um, I support it. Yes. So, I'm glad you discovered that about me. So, Bray told me what a bridal shower was because I didn't know what the fuck a bridal shower was. Oh, MG. You've been to said, every type of function ever, but now you don't know. No, I, shower. now, baby showers. Never I've never been, been to, to a, a bridal shower. Yeah, just the same thing, but for, for bridals. Yeah, how the fuck <laughs> do women get more gifts? Y'all just get everything in life more. It's not always necessarily for <laughs> gifts, though, but it's for you to just, you know, so, so. celebrate, do yeah. games and stuff, and just get, and then for your guests and stuff that who may not know each other, they get to meet each other and all that. So when the wedding and stuff, they're not meeting each other for the first time. Yeah. So it's a rule. So if you're at the bridal shower, you're at the wedding. Usually. Okay. Yes. So yeah. guys don't have bridal showers, though. Well, no. they, they're not brides. No. It wouldn't okay. Some people do them in lieu of a Bridal of a bachelorette party, and some some people do both. Yeah, she's. I think she's doing both. I don't know if she's having a bachelorette party. What she do doesn't w- have male strippers because that's. What do women do at yeah. bachelorette par- par- parties? I have. I've never been to bachelorette. one. You said when? What do y'all do? Wh- what? Yeah. I mean, it depends. It de- I mean, so a, lo- a lot of people travel nowadays, mm-hmm. so they don't just throw the party like they used to do back in the day, where they go to the strip club and turn up. Like gotcha. nowadays, people are going on like trips with their. With their with their bridal party and they're going to like you know Mexico or Puerto Rico. Or something. I feel yeah. like I always felt weird about like bridal parties or like uh, bachelor. I mean not bach- bridal parties, bachelorette parties and bachelor parties. I'm like, what's the point? Like it's like you could do everything that you do in your bachelorette party and bachelor party. You should be able to do when you marry. I mean yes, it's but you yeah, know I it's, mean, it's like this. That it's, is it's not officially like oh I'm never gonna do this again. People but it's say like it's the like last hoorah, and I'm like why? I mean yeah, because you know you're probably not gonna do that for a while. I would I would assume like when you get into your newlyweds stage, you're probably gonna be focused on other things, really mm-hmm. getting the marriage routine established. Yeah, I don't versus, like that. Everything that, that every bachelor party that I went to, <laughs> we do that regularly. Read the yeah. Bible, pray for our fellow. <sighs> Friend. Cut his mic off. Cut it off. That's what. But no, it's not to that say that you time. can't do that. But it's just like a, it's like a rite of passage. Like you would say anything else. It's like you know, it's not necessarily really your last hoorah, but it's your last hoorah as a single person. Do the bride get hit? No. No. Mm, no, it's your last hoorah as a single person. Yeah, and that's my thing. If you not, if like a dude is not fucking something for the last time, which you wouldn't do in a relationship, it's your last what single your... turn up. Now you're gonna be a married guy turning up. Maybe like, you should do that before you ask to be somebody do like before you ask somebody to be their girlfriend. I mean, ask somebody to be their your girlfriend. All, all jokes Maybe aside, you should do that then. Well, all no, jokes aside, I've never been to a bachelor party <clears throat> and the guy has sex with a woman. No, it's it's not about. You might sex. got some titties in your face. It's you know literally what I'm just yeah. like your last like official turn up before you're no longer single. Because until you're married, technically, 
you're single. single. So they, they look at it like, well, this is my last little turn up before I actually jump the broom. So, I mean, I get it. It's just something official that, you know, you just like a little celebratory sort of situation. So you're not going to have one? Nah. Okay. If Chris want to have one, he can. Y'all, yeah, my bestie didn't have one. I threw her a bridal shower, though, mm. but she didn't have a bachelor party. If I ever get married, y'all come to the bachelor party. All right. Bad. I'm going to wear a tux. <clears throat> but you're not getting married, so. I'm going to wear a tux with the butt cheeks cut out. Well, first of all, <laughs> fuck no. Never mind. You're not going to. Who will let you, you marry them, though? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> women just, hey. Who I, will I sign up like, for that? I feel like some women just want to get married. I was saying this the other day. Yeah, just for the sake my, of um, My coworker, time. right? She be just going. She don't watch the show. I already asked her. So anyway, she just be going on her boyfriend, right? He don't do this. He don't do that. I'm like, but well, why are you with him? And she's like, I mean, because I love him. But she just be going on him. I said. I'm like, what do you like about him again? Yeah. Right. And so my other coworker was like, well, if he proposed to you tomorrow, what would you say? She's like, hell yeah. I didn't get it. Like, you, you, you just point out all these things that you're unhappy with, your significant other. You're still with him. But you want to spend the rest of your life with him? <clears throat> Complaining I don't about it. those things. Yeah, why? I don't get I don't, that. I don't get it. I really don't think that people should get married just because. Oh, a lot of people do that though. It's just like, but a lot of people have that mind state that they want to do it just for you know. It's just like Miguel and his girl got engaged. They've been yeah. together for thirteen years. They're not that old, so honestly, thirteen years is not so far fetched. Yeah. No. How old is Miguel? Right, like thirty five. Like Miguel? No, Miguel's like my age. Maybe you like thirty, thirty one, right? Okay. I'll Google it. So they they've been together for at least like <laughs> thirteen 20. years. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. Basically, they they got engaged, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's no way I can wait that long." And da, da, da. and I'm like, "Okay, so what you gonna do?" So right. ima- imagine like being in a perfectly good relationship, mm-hmm. everything is functional, you're happy, mm-hmm. you have no cause for complaint. He's not ready for a marriage for whatever reason, but you don't get to decide when someone else is ready. And just because you feel like, well, what else is you waiting for? It's a lifetime commitment. I would rather you be 100 percent sure than to marry me because I'm putting the gun on you, and then two years down the line we're divorced. But I think. People always think it's on the man. How about if she didn't right, want to get that, married? Like that too. That everybody too. think it's like the man just stalling. Right. You uh, don't know uh, if he wanted to. You know, if it was her that wanted to wait either. But because women were saying that, I'm just like, okay. So let's say you were with the guy for several years and you decide, well, he's not marrying me fast enough. He's straight. I feel like you know the difference between someone who's genuinely trying to get it together yeah. and someone who's stringing you along. So let's say you leave him and then for the next eight years you get fucked over by eight other niggas. That could have been one nigga wasting your time instead of eight <laughs> niggas. Like, I mean, yeah. like. I've, now, now I you done get fuck it. nine niggas. So, so coming from my perspective, <laughs> I feel like depending on the situation, all the situations are different. Miguel, you might have a situation where he's like, "Look, I'm about to pop off in my career. You, I can't be, I can't be a good husband at this moment. I'm gonna be mm. torn. I'm gonna be traveling." Blah, blah, blah. Gotcha. But if you like, like me and Chris, for example, we live together, we have a child together. Um, if you're not ready, mm. which is something that I would have respected. You gonna have to let me know why, so I can make my next move. I'm in my twenties. Like, what's up? Right. You know I feel like the, I feel like the communication <laughs> should be like, yeah. If you're talking to them and they're telling you what it is, why they haven't made that step yet, and it's something right. that's agreeable. It's not like a look. Well, I just can't see myself getting married. Then it's like, okay, well, look, what you gonna do, sis? Yeah. But if he's telling you like, no, I want to be married, but mm-hmm. you know, it's some things I gotta kind of da 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 whatever mm-hmm. first. I feel like if a relationship is good, what I'm gonna leave you for? And I, it's I, no guarantee I'm gonna meet my soulmate in the time that uh-huh. I leave you. Like you're not, you know. I'm not sure if this is the case, but I, I have a lot of friends in the industry or trying to get in an industry, and like, I guess their advisors, like you gotta be single. Like you if know, you're like Teddy if, Riley just said something like that. Like yeah, if you're an R&B artist, you can't and... you can't be coming out and like, oh yeah, I'm married. I guess that l- lose. You know, no, you, can't, you, you gotta have that attainability though. When yeah. at least when yeah. you when you're when you're first out, mm. you come out the box, Mary Nix is like the fuck, baby. You Already, just can't like, tell people. People do that. It's more it's more accepted nowadays because everybody want post relationship goals, mm-hmm. and that's more now. But back right. in the day, like Teddy Riley was saying something about Bobby Brown, he was saying don't get married to Whitney Houston, not because he didn't like Whitney Houston, but because. Everybody career go downhill, number one. And number two, like, it just complicates things and it just makes you... Women want to have that possibility or yeah. whatever. Right. Um, but I feel like nowadays, women just don't care about you being married and they will still think pull that they have Pull up on you, right. Yeah, so. they'll still pull up. Or, and people just like... It's just more in style. You got the Jay-Z and Beyonce and all of that stuff, mm-hmm. you know, so... No, that's true. But I just feel like... <sighs> 
people move at their own pace and I don't think that you should put pressure on someone mm-hmm. because you feel like well what else are you waiting for it's not for you to decide realistically and as long as you're communicating openly yeah. about what it is now if he's just you know if it's whoever it is who wants to wait is like just shutting it down like bitch cause I said I won't wait like you know that's different but if you're communicating I couldn't see myself leaving a perfectly functional and good relationship mm-hmm. so my thing is do you want to marry this person because you love them right. you want to marry them because of certain things you won't do outside of marriage or do you just want to do it just to say you did it because Let's mm-hmm. say the timing is wrong and you marry them and then two years in, you're divorced. Right, I get that. But one of the things I had to ask myself even before was, do I want to be married or do I just not want to be a professional girlfriend? You know, and that's a real last question that people have out there, a lot of women have to ask themselves because, I mean, clearly I wanna, I'm want to with the person that I want to be with forever, so I do want to get married. But that's a real last question question that you have to ask yourself mm-hmm. and, and be real with yourself because a lot of people are getting married and ending up divorced, like mm-hmm. with children and stuff like, like that. like 50% of marriages in a divorce, or is that a fault? No, no that's, 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 no, that's true. true. That's okay. true. And it's like, do, does that make you, does it, I, my thing is like about your your motives behind it. Are you wanting to marry this person because this is who you love and this is who you want to be with forever? Or you want to just be able to say you did it? You know, some people right. feel like, well, he yeah. married me. Like, you want the bragging right. And nothing is going to change for y'all out there. When y'all get married, it's not going to be like, it okay. It shouldn't. Like, anyway, it shouldn't. Yeah, well, meaning like, because, you know, some people would be like, oh, well, maybe if we get married, he'll act like this. That's or what I'm he'll saying. Do yeah, this. Exactly. Like, it, no. who, who you're marrying, that's, <laughs> right. that's, that's it. And it's just like, that's, you should already know that. But I just feel like it's nothing wrong with wanting to be sure. And I would rather not put a pressure on my dude and know that this is really what he wants. Now, granted, you get to a certain stage where, yeah, you might feel like, okay, what are we doing? You know, mm-hmm. but it's like all these self imposed time frames, please. He should know within two years if he want to marry me. Girl, nah, what? That's, that's, that's so a much. lifetime I, commitment. I, like, hello? Well, it's supposed to be, but people look at it like, well, if it don't work, we can always get divorced. And that's why the divorce rate is so high. Exactly. You're going in like with that. the wrong attitude. Yeah, I, I was saying this the other day that people find more reasons to leave than reasons to fix the relationship. That's true. That's true. Um, I'm not, I never pressured Chris. If you asked him, he probably would say, yeah, but I did put a little heat under there just to figure out what was what. You said what? I yeah. put a little heat, a little, not fire. Why? Well, because Define you're heat. young. Like, what you mean, heat? I, let you're me tell 18. you. Why. Okay, <laughs> shut up. I'm, 20, <laughs> I'm about to be 27. By the way, yeah, that's 18. That's the new 18. February. Oh, I, that's in a couple of months. February. Girl, bad. Anyway, it, my bad. So, so okay. A couple is two. It, it came. October. It came to shut up, nigga. It's a, a quadruple <laughs> months. It's coming in a quadruple <laughs> months. Oh, pumpkin. Mm-hmm. The heat was okay. So this is my thinking. I'm like, okay. I didn't want to get get proposed to when I was pregnant because I didn't want to feel like it was just for the baby or whatever. Gotcha. Um, and I didn't. And the ring probably was going to fit on your fat ass finger. That too, because I was fucking huge. Um, but I, I remember. Do you? Uh, yes. Okay. Y'all can go like look on my Instagram. <laughs> I'm gonna do that because I don't. I didn't. I didn't see this. So yes. Yeah. To there. Yes. Big as a whale. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> He's slicing it. He's slicing it. Am I slicing it? You are slicing it a Go bit. look on the Instagram, guys. All right. Look on the we'll, Instagram. T- we'll take a poll. Sabre, uh, you? Sean, you were right. I was more like a baby hippo. You, uh, that didn't help your <laughs> argument. Like, <laughs> the bottom line is, you're snatched now. Okay. That's all that matters. Thank you, Yada. I appreciate that. No, but okay. So I felt like, okay, we were about to, we were already living together. We got a house together. We just had a baby together. Mm-hmm. And like, he would refer to me as if like, oh yeah, you my wife anyway, or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so I got just the inclination. Like, I know he wants to be married. And that's the thing. He He's, he's talked about it before. Mm-hmm. And we've talked about it before. But it was never no step in that direction. So I'm like, now at this point, we are searching for a new, another house. So it's not about the commitment because we clearly signed mm-hmm. on another house, selling this house. So I'm like, is it something like, like what's up? Like, I just need to know where you're at with that. And I would like, and I don't want you to rush that answer, but I will give you a time frame to let me know where you are with it. Because if you don't see that, like if you kind of see it, but you don't really see it, I need to know now to see what I want to do. Cause you do have to give somebody a chance to decide, do they want to stay in a, be a 13 year old, you know, in a 13 year old relationship before they get married or do they want to move on? And so you kind of, it wasn't like an ultimatum, but it's like, let me know what you want to do. So I know what to do. Yeah. So that's not really fire. That's, that's the type of conversation. It's a little heat. But that's the, the conversation you're supposed to have during, when you reached a certain stage in your relationship. Considering, yeah. 
there really was no excuse for Chris not to propose to you at, at, at that juncture because you've done everything else that comes with it. It's one mm-hmm. thing. Some people feel like, oh, I want to get my finance together so we can get a house. Mm-hmm. You guys have already done that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I right. want to do this and that. You know, so you guys are already had the, the foundation there. So it was kind of right. just like makes sense. But for, for people who don't have that yet, like I would love for, you know what I'm saying, nigga, get yourself together as much as you can. So, you know, I'm not inheriting all this debt from you. You're not inheriting all this debt from me. Like I get it. Even though there's always going to be something for you to work through yes. in a marriage. But it's like at the same time, if that's what you want to do prior to that I'm not gonna be mad. That might impact the type of home but that we want to get. Sean, what the fuck is what the fuck is up with dudes who they feel like they have to get their finances like top tier level, excellent? Like what the fuck? What, well, what do y'all mean, think is gonna happen? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay, because I'm like some you have if you have a job, you have goals. You can get uh, be in a relationship no, with a no. woman with, with goals. No. You know what? Going towards them. a lot of something. people fake the funk though, and then when you actually get married, mm-hmm. that's when everything gets laid on the table. Because it's oh, like I now we're joined saying. forces. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna know what your credit is looking like. I'm gonna know this, and you don't want me to see all that damage you've been doing when you've been faking like you had all this bread and buying all these Balenciagas. Yeah, I never, I never got how women got mad that a man wants to be able to take care of himself and the house before he actually gets, you know, married because yo, I think to me I'm at this point in my life oh, I would, I'm splitting bills, but if I got married, if my wife, if she didn't want to work she wouldn't have to work I want to be able to, if if, you going to work. No, look, I said, no, that, that's not, they give it a choice. You know what I'm saying? If she wants to work, I'm not going to say, oh, just like stay home. I'm not going to tee out the situation. You know what I'm saying? No but choice. like, you, men are supposed to be providers. Right. So you still going to go to work. I'm going to be provider, but you still going to go to work. I got you. I got you. Because you ain't getting but, no alimony if this shit don't work but out. But men want to make sure that, <laughs> men want to make sure that, hey, that I'm your rock. You can rely on me if any situ- situation, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, yeah. pops up. So if I know I'm fucked up or I got, a, you know, a lot of debt or I'm not making the money that I'm supposed to make, finance is what? That's the number one reason for divorce. Yeah. yeah it's that, if so it's, it's not like, number one, it's definitely in the top and I've two. Dealt, yeah. So honestly, I've never made a lot of money. I'm, 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 uh, I've been honest to women in my past. I've dated women that made way more money than me. It, it will be an issue. They can say it; it's not an issue in the beginning because it's all about love, this and that. And but when you, when, correct. yeah, you know, oh, you know, I, I love you, this and that, working out potential. Yeah, yeah. but true. how about if your your rough six months turns out to a rough, you know, two years? You were cool to deal with it for you know for those three months, but now, okay, shit, I can't buy you the clothes that you like to wear. We can't go out to the restaurants that we always eat, or shit. You have to pull the weight of the bills because, yeah, right. you know, or, you know, anything, and you know. Then, and then another thing I find, too, is that, and, you know, I talk to a lot of males because of my profession or whatever. It's like it, it'll always be it's going to always be something. You're mm-hmm. not stuff is it's not even just finance. They be like, mm-hmm. yeah, I just want to make sure everything is great. Everything is never going to be great. Like, right. I think it just usually should, should have realistic goals to get to a certain mm-hmm. point. But they'll be mm-hmm. like, oh, I got to wait till I get this job. Okay, I got that job. Okay, mm-hmm. I got to wait till I save this much money. Okay, you save that much money. All right, now I got to wait till I, but, like. But but don't people do, do that? things simultaneously. But, hold on, but, don't, <laughs> but people do those same things like when they're buying a house or buying a car. You, yeah. you don't just jump out there and say, okay, yeah, I need a house and just, you know, go up, apply for a house. You make sure things are set well, in place a, before you do good, that. That's a good point, though, because people take True. a lot more caution in other lifelong or long-term decisions that they mm-hmm. make, but somehow you feel like marriage is supposed to be this just jump off the cliff situation. Mm-hmm. True. You can't always act on emotion alone because it is very much a business arrangement or relationship as much as it is a relationship. Because there's a business aspect to it. You are combining assets, mm-hmm. you combining lifestyles, you combining all these things together. Mm-hmm. And I get wanting to make sure that you have some sort of solid foundation. Now, I'm mm-hmm. not asking you to be just like a know, little bumper, diddy rich, yeah. you know, before you jump the broom. But at the same time, I can understand you wanting to have a solid foundation so that if things do go wrong, anything can happen. Mm-hmm. I have friends, friends. Dude got injured, you know what I'm saying? And he couldn't work. She held it down because of the position yeah. that she was in, and they were able to do that. And when he went back, you bounced back like it was nothing. But you want to be able to have each other's back like that. And I can understand a man, especially feeling mm-hmm. like I don't want a situation to happen, ma'am. You, no, no, you know, knock on wood, but like your wife could go out tomorrow and get hit by a bus and be incapacitated for mm-hmm. a while. Somebody, and if you used to splitting bills or something mm-hmm. like that, and now it's all on you because she's not bringing that income in or that same mm-hmm. income in, you want to be able to hold that down. So I get it because it's, those trying times mm-hmm. will separate you if you don't have a foundation. It's the same thing about having a kid. People always think about like you know um, your your partner. You guys like breaking up, but say you know your partner dies. Can you take care of those kids? You know by yourself, your finances. Right. So you want to make sure, like, hey, 
I got At least a little I bit of money saved away. You know what I'm saying? I got some money. Yeah. Let me check my savings. You know what I mean? Do y'all believe in uh, joint accounts or separate no. accounts? I no. think it should be a, maybe, but I would I would want to have both. I would want to have something that's just on my own because I might have my own goals that I want to, right. you know, that are separate from what we do as a union. So I, we, we can have a joint account that we put money in to pay bills and things and then I can have whatever I have on the side to take care of or fund whatever little side endeavors I mm-hmm. had that doesn't impact the household yeah. money. Yo, so um, being in the job that I am in now, <laughs> no joint account for me. Like I, I don't... <sighs> it's crazy. Even like my old job, like... When I was working with the phone company, like when people were like on the same like phone bill, like the shit that it's too much. Okay. It's a lot. I it's mean, a it lot. just depends on like, what type I, of person you're dealing with. But. Like, like yo, husbands, like, and and this is not like I used to get so many emails like, hey, yeah, I need you to send me my um my wife's uh, call history, and I got to, you know why? Because my it's thing in your, is, why it's, do you need to account? get sent that? You can totally just log in and see it. I mean, because I can see everybody. Yeah, but no, you, but you might not be on my bill. I can see everybody. Yeah, but you might not. But we can go back, like we can archive. Hey, I need this number from uh, February two thousand seventeen. Damn, stalker! Mm. Like I feel like if I gotta do all that, yeah. we probably just or like like with the like this is what I don't get, and I'm not married, so I don't know. What's the purpose of a joint account? Aren't we both mature? Enough to you know handle our finances that we can still pay f- well, for the bills. Some people, it's, just it's just a household. Some fund. people feel like they since we won, we got married, we're mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Your account is my account. Like we put all our money into a pot, and mm-hmm. that's what it is. Me, I personally don't agree with that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to do that mm-hmm. just because. I don't. I just. I don't know. Like that just doesn't fit our personalities. Yeah. Like I don't want to be like, oh, I'm just gonna get my nails done. Like oh, oh, I'm just gonna buy this jacket. See, that's like, why you gotta have your side money. account. I oh, feel yeah. like <laughs> I'm gonna put my bill, my and part of the bill money in the family account, like, and then this that's side account do. is for my nails. We like, have a joint account for the bills. Like I just mm. tell me, give me this much. That's what it is. Because you know it's always gonna be you. Like, men, men, men can't handle that. They just know where to give the money to. Last Girl, week, uh, this guy never lied. His wife was, uh, they were separated. They had 32000 She Pulls cleared that ski. motherfucker. Pulls on ski mask. Cleared that motherfucker. And he was like, yo, what can you do? Well, my nigga. Her name was on She's the account. author. I mean. But don't they, can, they, can, you, set you, those, can, do. can you set those types of accounts up to where it requires both signatures if it's over a certain amount? Uh, I would have to research. But yeah, research, clearly not on this re- one. Re- research that for me. Yeah. <laughs> but like to have you know access That's wild if you know fuck, you man. go on with somebody on a loan you know what I'm saying like yo if they in de- hey we, we pull that money from your account right <laughs> you he know get what a, mean? he getting the rids on the child support <laughs> yeah, from the like, other kid they gonna be looking at you yeah you're, 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 you're one so it's like I understand like people say oh we're joint account with one so okay so can your partner just go in your phone when they want to or like if one is, do you. Is that with everything? Is it just with the money? That's what some people some people feel like that. You mm. know, mm-hmm. I I personally I, with the finances, I couldn't even marry nobody with student loans. Like if he he went to college and graduated, mm. but thank God he was on a scholarship. Well, but if he had, fuck you. I'm sorry, but if he had because I don't have any, that's not fair. Oh, like, so you couldn't marry me, Sabrina? That's what you say. You not, not going to marry honey. you? You know what? This shit is over. Depending it's on how over. much of it, it is. I but could you, eight, like is, fifty and up. I can't do it, baby. But the thing is, you're honest about that. And <laughs> I as long cannot. as as long as you're honest about that, <laughs> you winch. I'm paying for them, dang. <laughs> but I know that <laughs> it's that's a, it's a, a huge burden for some people, mm-hmm. and everybody's not responsible enough to stay current mm-hmm. or whatever. But see, that's I feel like that those types of things that you will see. Uh, when you start to really get to that stage, pre marriage stage, when you're yeah. really starting to get mm-hmm. into that. And that's why people feel like, oh, well, do you know your partner's credit score, this, that, and the third, or whatever? And I mean, like, prior to marriage. And I'm like, you might not know it, but you get to a certain stage where you got to lay that shit on the table because I need to know what the fuck I'm getting into. And you know their habits as well. So you you know if well, you're dating an overspender. Sometimes for the people, most part. yeah, sometimes mm-hmm. people with, but the, the, the worst ones be the ones who try to hide it. But, Next thing you know, you done sure. married into all this motherfucking but debt. But honestly, it's not even about sometimes I'm, I feel like at my age, I'm just starting to become an adult. I was like, why is my credit score so low? Like, I don't have, I didn't go to school. Like, I literally have no debt yeah. besides my my car. I didn't have credit cards. How? Oh, because you I never, never because used I was, it. No, I never, know. like, you know, you know, as soon as you leave, like, high school or yeah. which time they send you, like, 
My mom just said, don't fuck with credit cards. I was like, well, how do I establish credit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, the problem with credit cards is not even about not fucking with them. It's don't fuck with credit cards for stuff you can't afford to buy. That's really what it boils down to. A lot of people look at credit cards like free money, and they spend these joints like it's nothing, realizing that you have to pay this back. Like, I use my credit cards for stuff I can actually afford, and I just use it knowing that I could have used cash for this, or I could have used my debit card for this, but instead I use the credit card because I have the money to pay for that, and you establish that credit history response. Responsibly. I don't. But, I don't even do that. I use my credit card for bills because I got to pay them anyway, and then I just pay. But that's what, that's the yeah. same thing. You use okay. it for stuff you can already afford, yeah. okay, and then gotcha. you pay it with the money. So you know, and then you build that credit history. But that's really what that is. But you brought up the situation about the phones, and you know, can your partner? You know, you join everything together. You're one. Can your partner go on your phone? And I feel like, you know, I get to that stage. Yes, my partner can go in my phone, but if you want to, then that's yeah. a problem. I, we would have to talk about that. We're open. I'm open to it because, like I said, when I get into that type mm-hmm. of situation, I don't have anything to hide. But if you feel like you need to go on my phone, that's where our problem lies. And why do you feel like you need to go on my phone? No, but y'all, I'm, I'm with you. But that's a, when everybody's like, you know, marriage is like one. Okay, so we're. It's but you're still entitled to your privacy. You still have some yeah. degree of privacy. You don't just. No, there's no circumstance yeah. where you just completely give up. 100% of your privacy. It's not fair. Well, yeah, because you, your girlfriend could be texting you about something that you may not want to tell your man about. It might be something that's her and her life that's none of his business. And yeah. you don't want to, fe- you know... Right. You still I've, have your own... You're still yeah. your own person. You join together yeah. as one in a marriage, but you're still you. Like, Yeah, right. one of my... um, This bitch. My ex, right? <laughs> well, all right. One, so one of my, um, my friends... You know who you are. Yeah, Bitch. one of my friends basically like came out the closet, right? That's to me, gay. never okay. told, you know, never male told. Female. Male. Came That's out the closet. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, I think he thought it was going to change because when he came out the closet to me, it wasn't like any times. It was like, like nah, it was like <laughs> early, like, yeah. like I had to really do some growing up because like back then, if you were gay, if you were a heterosexual man, you didn't associate with gay men because that means you're gay. Right. And that was stupid of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. But um, she went through my phone and then, like, basically, I went, like, went on Facebook and was just, like, telling everybody, like, and I was like, so it's not always about infidelity, but sometimes... Well, how about you if you expose somebody's you my, business that my, wasn't yeah, your place to expose. You my girlfriend, you venting to... Your friends about me. You should have that free, right? You know, you know that and then space. You come so to then, me when you feel yeah, and then I see your girlfriend uh, say some shit that I don't like. Now I don't like her. Now I'm jeopardizing y'all relationship. It's just like you know too much, you know, for me. But that all to say this is like when you said the credit scores. That's why men feel like, hey, let me. I want to be. I want to bring something to the table. So give yeah. me time so I can get here. So I am an asset and not a liability. One one little that. tip I want to give to the viewers and my to and the listeners. It might be something that everybody, a lot of people already know, but with the credit card thing and building your credit is not hard to do. When it comes to credit cards, mm-hmm. I know that a lot of us have been, you know, scared into mm-hmm. not using them. But if you get something like a rewards card mm-hmm. or something like that with good um with good rates or whatever, it can really benefit you. Like I try to pay everything as many things as I possibly can with my credit cards. But the key is, like y'all just said depending on your limit, you should have whatever that limit is, you can have you should have it in the bank or else you shouldn't go over what you don't have in the bank yeah. and just treat it like a debit card. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. that way you get rewards. And you what you do is the day before your statement is due, mm-hmm. pay it down to eight to ten percent of what your uh what your limit is. And never go over thirty. And never right. And never go to unless you just well, that's I not mean, an emergency, you, but whatever I'm unless you want to you go shouldn't go past I wouldn't 50. even just don't don't max it out. And honestly, whatever your due date is, you should put some money down fifteen days before your due date, yeah. and then two days before, because it looks like two payments in that yeah. due cycle. But you, right. yeah, you definitely never go over thirty percent for if you're looking for credit building. Because that's right, what right, right, right. Because but, sometimes I'll depending on what I have to get, I might go over, but I'll pay, but still before the joint is. But yeah, if you pay, I pay before it all the way down, yeah, if you pay before 8%. cycles, they don't know that you went over thirty percent. Right, it's, they, right. they only know what they bill you for. Never keep it. Basically, never right. keep that. Don't let yourself get billed cycle. for that. Right. Also, mm-hmm. if you buy something like the day before you. 
your bill cycle, you probably ain't got to pay that junk for like two months. But yeah, you didn't hear that from me. But no, <laughs> seriously though, or if you really want to increase your, the, the best thing you can do is increase your limits. And your yeah. let it, limits get increased because as long as you use it responsibly, yes, the higher your limits it. are, the, yo, the lower your utilization percentage is. Yes. So what I'll do is, I will carry a balance. The best time to carry a balance is when you first get the card. Because mm -hmm. you have that 12, 15 months with 0% APR, yeah. so you're not getting no interest charges. That first year, carry a balance whenever I want it an increase because I was paying all my credit cards off on time because I got a few of them now. Yeah. And they would be, then I would ask for an increase and they'd be like, bitch, you don't need it. You keep paying it. So I was like, okay. Carry the balance for like two right. months. They give me an extra X amount. Like, Amex gave me so much fucking money. Yeah. Like, I opened a card, $6,000 limit. Within like mm -hmm. six months, they gave me another 6000 And yeah. then they gave me like $4,500 yeah, on top of that. that. Yeah. So I'm up to damn near $20,000 with Amex. Yeah. For what? And I just carry a small, you just got to yeah. carry a little balance. And then, yep. I mean. It's eight to 10% before your statement is due, pay it down to that. I wouldn't pay it down to zero if I were y'all because that don't count. But pay it down to eight to 10% yeah. of whatever your balance is. I just found out last week that you can take some of your balance off one credit card and put on another credit card. Yeah. I never but knew that. Not from the same either. company. Yeah, FYI, because yeah, yeah. some people will be out here trying to get three Amexes and, and transfer balances. No, baby. You got to right. transfer the Capital One card over to the yeah. Amex. Honey. And then get rewards cards and stuff that you use. Like, yes, for example, I like to travel, so I will get a Southwest. Delta. I got Delta, because oh. Delta goes more... Southwest only goes domestic. Uh, Delta goes is the most international, mm -hmm. or whatever, for that for a decent price. Mm -hmm. So I got Delta Amex, and then I got a Nordstrom's, because I like to Nord shop at Nordstrom. Nord yeah, it's no S on it. I'm sorry. Nordstrom's fuck. <laughs> no, like, no, no, the you Amex didn't. rewards point because I got a, I got a, I got a cash back card and a points card yeah. from Amex. So one of them gives me points, one of them gives me cash back, yeah. and that shit just works in handy because yes. I've been using that cash back to pay on that bill. And then I got like two Capital One cards and a Macy's card. I've been going to Nordstrom, Nordstrom's. And Nordstrom, motherfucker. I, they be like, oh, you got a $200 note. I'm like, that's a free pair of shoes or whatever the, whatever I'm uh, getting at I the time. I got the Macy's card because I was trying to get my mom a birthday present. And they was like, you get the card and you get 20% off your purchase today. And you could use the card because you ain't going to have a card, but we're going to give you this piece of paper. That's the card. I was like, all right, give me the card. And I got like $2,000 <laughs> with Macy's. And then literally the only thing I buy from them is perfume. Yeah. But yeah. when I be wanting a new fragrance, though, <laughs> put it on the yes. garbage. Ow. So but they can work for you, basically, is what yeah, we're saying. Basically. They're not scary. But if you, Fuck it Just up. Just don't be irresponsible. It Treat it like it's your actual <laughs> money. What fragrance are we? Decadence um, by Marc Jacobs. Yeah, my oh my right gosh, now. that's what I have on right now. Oh my god, Decadence is literally my favorite, and it's, I love the bottle because it looks like a little handbag. So hard. And yes. young, the lady so that Mariomi got me, like this. the lady that talked you me, you don't be up on me like that. <laughs> I love it. It's, so. it's literally Decadence <laughs> and Divine because they're in the same line. It's literally the yeah. only Marc Jacobs fragrances that I like. But I also have. um I have a uh, uh, Michelle Germain uh -huh. joint that smells bomb. I love Tom Ford Velvet Orchid is a fucking torch. Velvet orgasm, what? Velvet Orchid, <laughs> douchebag. And I like Jimmy I gotta, Choo. Yeah. And I like... Uh, um, That's a thousand dollars worth right there. I ain't got that many fragrances. I'm cheap. I got like... I get Bugari like one has or two at Amarena. a time. Smells amazing. Okay. Um, well, that's how you pronounce it? And Valentino. Donna by Valentino. Torch. I'll, I'll go shopping many? for that probably this I'll holiday make, season. No, I'm friends with Reese. The only reason I say that, I, I like, I like, I, the, I, I like to smell the same. So when people smell me, it's kind of like yeah. so. I'm, oh, I have I two scents. Oh yeah, I love, you know what I'm I love, I love. I don't switch it you up. You have, have two three cents. actually. What do you have? The two, the two colognes you have, and, and after stink. kickball, yes. Yeah, yeah after I be kickball, stinking yeah, like boof. shit. The <laughs> older, boof by the, <laughs> the older you get, seriously. I was just saying this. I sweat different. I fucking love Yada. You gotta get bonbon too. Okay. Uh, you Victor, Victor and Rolf. Okay. Bon Bon Torch. Mm -hmm. nah, so I could you be said stinking. I, I, no, I love y'all because I know sometimes I come in here it's okay. and I be stinking. But listen, that was probably only one occasion where it was really like, bruh. But everything else is kind of like tolerable. I'm good you know, today. it's something that is something that I noticed with this cleanse, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of the like the odors and stuff from like working out or whatever, like. Mm -hmm comes from toxins in your body. And you don't boof as bad is what you're saying? Mm -hmm. I can go to the gym and sweat. I can have a trash bag on and I won't stink. I don't really stink when I sweat. I just smell like... Working women. out, what, sweating like is one sweat thing. smells like Women don't good. sweat like no, men. But, I don't but know why. Sweating is, is one thing. Like You might be a little hot outside or whatever. But working out, no, I don't boof after that either. It's weird, but like, is oh, it I weird smell like my, the hard day at work. Hold on, first of all, my, hold on. Under, my under boob sweats kind of smells good. Like it's weird. No, the fuck, it does. Down. My under boob sweat. Oh, under it was like, boob oh my sweat? god, my boobs are sweating, and it's like, oh my god, it kind of like doesn't smell bad though. It smells good. So it smells like decadence. 
I mean, mildly. So, <laughs> you know who I, under boobs sweat probably smell good? Rihanna's. She probably, mm. she even sweat under her boobs. Her boobs are so perky. Them joints are like I epic. feel like they take. Them joints like, are like shoulder height. They just they just point this way. I like, love you, Rihanna. If you're watching, I feel like Rihanna. There's nothing she could do wrong. Right. As far as she probably farts and it probably smells like Lucky Charms or no, something. No, 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 no. <laughs> do you know what this cleanse? I could I can fart and y'all. I swear to God, it no, doesn't. Well, stay. Well, trust First me, of all, we don't want to find out. We don't want to. It's wild that you're a woman and you fart. That's wild as shit. Because we don't. I do. I do. And I take big dumps. Oh my god! Yeah, we just lost 500, 500 subscribers <laughs> off that. I'm, at, Yo, I'm really mad. She put so much effort. She was like, "Can I take fuck? big dumps?" <laughs> oh my god! You was wrecking I'm just shop. Kidding. Yo, <laughs> was wrecking shop. not that you need it, but all the male viewers that love you, yeah, you. No, nah, it's probably it. something to do. It's so probably like some this. weird guy that's probably just. Ooh, oh, she yeah. on today. I had to get some of my viewers back. It's probably some weird guy that's probably get... just like, can I smell it? <laughs> I'm going to get your viewers back because it's a yellow dress and they just want to think it's brown, you know, brown stain. You got a pocket. <laughs> I'm about she said big dumps. Like, <laughs> big dumps. I don't do that because ladies don't do that. <laughs> do y'all, hey, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Okay? Never, I've you, never shit before in my life, ever. Okay, but say hypothetically, if you ever had to, do you hide that? Like, say if you have a, a dude that you're talking to. I'm going to your bathroom up. Fuck that shit. Oh, you don't L- care about L- Listen, listen here. I'm not fucking up my excretory system for anybody, yeah. bruh. If he can't smell my farts, he can't have my heart. <laughs> That was kind of dope. No, I, I definitely you, like you, let a real wild. Wow, I remember when that. I was dating, you know, bleep, bleep, who I dated when I met you. Mm. And there was like this one night where we were like sleep and mm. we were in the bed. And I was like, you know, and I just had like a t shirt on and I was like really stretched out all of, you know, because I take mm. up a lot of space. Mm. And then it's just like, it just like, you know how you get really, really comfortable and relaxed mm. when you sleep? And then it's just kind of just like, <laughs> God, you chop up with the fuck? No, you know how you be so relaxed when you sleep that oh. you really can, you can't stop it even if you want to. By the time you realize you should clench, it's too late. That joint was like, Bleh! and then it was under the blanket, so you no, don't circulate. No, I was on top of the blanket, oh, okay. and I was just like, when he was like, "What the?" Was no, the no, fan no, 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 no. He said, "Holy shit!" I was like, "Yo." Was the fan? It on? didn't stink though. No, it didn't stink though, and he was just like. And then it's funny because I was trying to get hit too, and he was just like, nah. No, nah. I was like, he what? He was like, nah. Up. He said, the ass was clapping for all the wrong reasons. He, oh, he need to grow up. He need to oh, grow yeah. up. <laughs> that shit was fun. He need to take that fart and Nitty. fan it away and hit that jump. That's what nah, real men do. I, I, yeah, he, he, dude, I, I like booted around him like really early on. Like, we weren't even like officially in the To get it out the way, right? It's, no, it, it wasn't way. on purpose. He was, he was tickling. We were play fighting. He was hanging me off the edge of the couch. And I was like, nigga, don't drop me. Don't drop me. But he what dropped is me. up with that? <laughs> yeah, like, why? <laughs> but like, why though? Like, it's natural. It's a natural thing. He made thing. me get in the shower. Now, I could, if you like a, if you like a, that's, he need to grow the fuck up. But if you're like a, a, a real, real gassy person, like you, like maybe you're lactose intolerant, but you stay eating, drinking milk and eating ice cream or something, that's a little disgusting. He like, said it sounded wet, so he made me get in the shower. <laughs> oh, man. I can it see. Wasn't, I feel it my wasn't, man on that it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. Like damp or no, anything. No, it's it, <laughs> it is natural, but like if I'm at work and I got to, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and let it. I'm not just gonna yeah, just. I'm talking about with oh, your that joint's gonna be quiet. If it feel like it's gonna be quiet, that joint is coming out. Like, I'm talking about no, with your the quiet joints are the most deadliest joints. Then you just gotta hope nobody comes in there for a while. Like yeah, just be, I'll just be sitting in this little office like yeah, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'll be in there by myself. <laughs> Then what somebody, is that, a hot air balloon? What the yeah. fuck? But then I see Whoopi. somebody come in, and I'll just like hurry up and get out of there like it wasn't me. Like, oh, nah, I call, what, my coworker That's a hit and off, run. My coworker let off a lethal joint. I went around the, the corner. I went to go get my, my, my clipboard I had left over there that had some papers on it. And he was like, you coming to get your clipboard? Wait, 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 wait. He tried to stop me, but I had already took one more step yeah. and was like, damn. He was like, I tried to save you. What, what blows me is the healthier you eat, the nastier. The more dangerous. That's not always true. You would think that. You think I'm trying to tell you. I, I'm trying to tell <laughs> she's you. She's like, I'm trying to tell you. My joke's it's not dang out no I'm more. I'm telling you, my joke's We're going to ask like Chris more when be. the show is over. We're going to ask Chris. Chris, Chris, so, Chris, don't, <laughs> don't, Chris come in here now. Did you ever just Dutch oven him? <laughs> yes. Uh, you All dirty the dirty motherfucker. But he is worse than me. What the fuck is that? When you, when you fire under the covers and you trap them under there with it. Oh, but he, no, but he, but see, Chris Jones is so bad. He needs to do a cleanse because no, I swear to God, Chris Lonnie. Jones be so he yeah, might. He, I don't know about my. I'm not ready for, for that. Woods, for Woods' birthday, mm-hmm. 
<laughs> so when we were leaving from, we were at like Green Eggs or whatever that restaurant was one in the morning for mm-hmm. breakfast. We were leaving and I had y'all like uh, let one rip a little bit <laughs> and it followed me into the car. <laughs> and then Jay Man was like, <laughs> he thought he thought he stepped in <laughs> oh shit! Oh, hey, look, I these two. Him, hey, no, but look, Chris is that, that's the only in, thing that saves me is that Chris is worse than me. So that's we're what men. makes me we're still just, look more I feminine. Him, you know what I mean? But we're, but we're men. Shit. We're supposed can, to. I can come downstairs to do laundry, and I'd be like, just as soon as I hit the steps. Did you fart? Like, nah, why does the that. whole room? That like... nigga farted on our third date. Yeah, we went to the movies. It was cold as shit outside. Mm-hmm. He opened my door for me. I got in the car. He he walked around the back, and I'm like, what the fuck is taking this nigga so long to get in the car? He tried to let that joint out before he got in the car. That mm-hmm. motherfucker got in the Bell car it. with us. Yes, it got Chris in the back famous. seat, and it rolled home with you us. You know what gives it to <laughs> what, what, what makes Chris have the worst jumps is the blooming onion from Outback. Well, yeah. It's a fucking nigga. onion. That shit stinks going in. You know it's moving. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that shit just leave you for she real. No, you know what's going to wreck you for real, for real? It's Asparagus. This guy my, no, it's this guy at my job. That makes key. your pee stink. This guy at my job, he eats Chipotle every day. I was like, dog, I know you're doing damage in these streets. Chipotle has, <laughs> Chipotle like, a 40, do Chipotle has like a 40-minute shelf life before Chip- that joint just Chipotle goes. Chipotle not even mm. good to me. Brat. I don't even know why people eat that shit all the time. I like it. I mean, but, it's not bad, but like people like live by it. Oh, no, I'm not doing it every day. But I just want people to know out there, again, this is a black-owned business. The Detox Now. Go on their website if you don't want your farts to stink. I'm telling you, that's where you go. You're going to be drinking. This going to change your whole life, though. 96% of my people. So, Bray been drinking Listerine all show. You see that <laughs> shit? No, this is coconut water. So. I was say, what the fuck? It was just green. What the fuck happened? Um, anyway. No, um, could y'all be polygamous? Polygamous? Yeah. Fuck more than one bitch? No, it's not just about fucking. <laughs> I mean, it's about would, being in a relationship or a marriage, like having um is no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Polygamy is not is not uh what's the one where you can have multiple wives? And that a polygamy? No. And a white woman. Oh, I meant yo, that is po- <coughs> oh, I meant polyamorous. Oh, polyamorous. That's what I meant. Oh. Polygamy Sounds is like when a you shape. can po- po- Sounds like an awkward rectangle. No <laughs> awkward <laughs> You so ignorant, bro. <laughs> So polygamy is when you, uh, uh, you can have more than one wife. Oh yes, easily. But polyamorous but is when you're in like when you're married to one person, but you can have relationships outside of that. See, that's wild because I can like I'm not about to have all those dicks. Like that's just like that's a <laughs> lot of all dicks. All of them don't have to be sexual. But though. I mean, like ten times niggas gonna want. I could def- the, the sex at some point, and I don't have time for all these dicks. Like I'm, yeah, I can't be double clutching out here in these streets. I hey, can. Same thing. And when I say I can, I'm not saying just me. I've, I'm, I'm not going to say any names. I had a uh, got a close friend. Him and his girlfriend, you know, have that type of relationship. So at first I was thinking about it. He's like, I never thought I could do it. You know what I'm saying? But he says, you know, honestly, it gives, it's the freedom. You you don't have to hide anything. You can be yourself. And he said, as men, we're so pompous because we feel like, yo, like we're the only ones that might crave another partner. Mm-hmm. Women want to, too. And mm-hmm. they just, you know, but they have more self-control, you know, than men do. So, like, they have, well, I can't get all of it. But basically, now, it's restrictions. They have rules. Yeah. But she can, at certain times, she can do, you know, her thing. He said the only thing that kind of throws it off is she kind of wants to know. He just said, I just don't want to know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. it's like. Yeah. yeah, they are the, and that's the rules, one thing. Like no raw dog. Yeah, it's like depending I mean, so like the, nobody all, I know. It all like, depends on the yeah. relationship. They can have no different oral, rules. No, no oral. I meant like for them. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, like oh, no oh, raw oh. dog, no oral sex. What's the, what nobody, mean? you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like, like, like okay, look, yo, if you out of the, you go on a girls trip to Barbados. I'm not following the rules. Fuck that. <laughs> Right, but what that, happens but in that's Beidos, trust. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so if you're in that, you have to really like fully like, you know, yeah. trust that person and say that they follow the rules. Because I feel like uh if I will follow the rules, if a woman gave me that freedom, how would I fuck that up? Because you're not gonna find that in too many women. That's true. You a hoe. No, I'm not I'm just I'm just Do you think that people are naturally monogamous though? No, like and I feel like yeah. yo women and men. Since the beginning of the time, you look at any civilization, like, that's something that has been... <laughs> it's been encouraged you, you for men and shunned for women. It's bullshit. No, but that's what... But y'all, did you just hear me say, I would be that type... Oh, it's just not for men. 
the woman will be able to kind of like I do her thing. Like would as you, well. you would be in a relationship where you let your your wife, you know, date outside the relationship. So I was in an open relationship, right? Before, right? And it was working for me. She, but later down the line, she was not honest. She said she said it because she wanted to be with me and she wanted to appease me. She said, like, I don't want to be with other men. I was like, well, I thought we had this talk because how I looked at it is like, if I don't know, I mean, I know, but if I don't, if it's not any confirmation, it really can't, you know, bother me. Mm-hmm. You just think about how many, yo, any job that I've been in, 70% of the women, I just made that number up. They be cheating. Niggas, niggas in relationships with their women having sex with other <coughs> niggas anyway. They just don't know. What's the difference? Now I know and like you don't have because to they don't believe hide it, this and that. Gonna, my, yeah, because I, women can go, y'all can both go out here and get 10 bodies before 10 o'clock. I have to work for it. You know what I'm saying? But that so 10 it's like, body's going to be a struggle. No, I'm just saying. No, y'all to. No, look I, at no, you, y'all no, I, You I, at the gas station. I'm, hey. I'm, that's, this was sarcasm. Relax. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, I feel like men, they just feel like these alpha, like my woman wouldn't do nothing. She wouldn't look at uh, another man she doesn't want to have sex with. Yeah, right, my nigga. Like, yeah. nigga, you drop your girl off. She, another nigga take her to Chipotle. She be having flowers, edible arrangements. We be eating these that's fucking fruits. Like, damn, you snitching. Shut up. No, I'm not. I'm not saying. No, that's, no. that's low key about. That's a violation. No, that's a violation. No, but it happened. But this one, but I'm, it, I'm just, I, I know that it happens. Yeah, my yeah. last job is uh, predominantly like you know, like women feel like <sighs> women. Yeah. Were they white? Savages. No, these are black. And the the thing is, it's not really like women our age. It'd be like women in their 40s. Mm. Like, like I love a woman in the 40s. I feel like that's prime, like, black women. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and it's not always about money or if they're dudes. I've seen women that their guys take care of all the bills, nice-looking guys, this and that. They just want some outside dick. Or maybe they're lacking, like, emotional or they're not... um. They don't get the attention from their, you know, husband or, mm-hmm. you know, boyfriend or, you know, whatsoever. I've seen it. Yeah. So, like, guys, no, seriously, guys are, like, even when they talk about, like, the whole cheating thing, guys are stupid. Like, uh, women have made men feel like, oh, women only cheat if it's emotional. Nah, sometimes they be loving the dudes and just want some different dick. Hmm. Facts. <laughs> um, Niggas is dumb. Facts. Oh. <laughs> That's, that was two facts in a row. <laughs> 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 that was, that was double the facts. Gotcha. Especially if the dude you fell in love with, you fell in love with him and his sex is okay. Because we all know that when you love somebody and you have super, like, the feelings are, like, abnormal for them, if their sex is okay, it can still be great because of what you, you know, feel yeah. for them. So they might want some back-blown dick. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that whole nature thing you said, is it natural to be, you know what I'm yeah. saying, monogamous? I feel like that's about, that. that's as much bullshit as, like, fucking no, astrology. Not. We're mammals. Yes. Shut it up. And, and, and astrology is and stuff. It's like this. I feel like it, the, the first nigga to never cheat, pretty much humbled that for y'all. He shut that whole shit down, basically. But that doesn't mean it's natural. No, but what I'm saying oh. is, it's. I don't feel like it's a... Men are are raised to believe that it's um, in a man's nature to do this, this, and this. But realistically, mm-hmm. is it just how you were raised? Because you don't know any better. This is what you were told. It's just like Zodiacs. You could be like, oh, well, Scorpios is this, this, and this. And it's just like, okay, are you genuinely like that? Or are you just starting to emulate what you've heard you're supposed to be like your whole mm-hmm. fucking life? Like, cut it the fuck out. So you, so you think with all these people, all this fake soulmate shit, with... with Women outnumbering men ten to one. That was supposed to just be with one person. Yes. Well, oh, okay. okay. So for <laughs> me, I don't think just my outlook Ready on life. Sluts. I don't think that monogamy is is necessarily natural, but it's a lot of shit that we don't that we do that's not natural. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Monogamous nigga right here. Shame on you. What? So you, uh, let- so you unnatural. Like, <laughs> no, no, no Sabrina's so, so, so so basically saying I know, I was it, it's human nature to no, do what you, you want de- to do. But you still have a decision it. to make. If, yeah, I, I do yeah. feel like I was being an you, asshole. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I do feel like if you tell a woman you're gonna be committed to her, whether it's unnatural, you don't you don't have to do that. Yeah. That's on you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So once you give that woman like, okay, I'm all about you, I don't care if it's natural or unnatural, yeah. you gotta keep your word. Right. So I mean even though I don't consider myself a Christian, mm. I did grow up in a church and I do understand that human nature is to do what we want to do. It's to feed us through our flesh and do whatever it is, whether it be with a person or a 
go against what we told somebody or whatever. Like, that's natural to really just go towards what we feel in the moment. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that falls under that. Like, cheating or being monogamous or whatever falls into that. It's just a conscious decision that you have to make. Because, of course, whether you're in a relationship or not, you see people that are attractive, but you make that decision. I ain't going to say nothing. Or mm-hmm. I ain't going to do nothing. Or I'm going to just look from afar and keep my shit moving. Yeah, I seen, I seen somebody say on IG, women see plenty of cute niggas, and they say, oh, he cute, and just keep on walking. Now, that was on Twitter. Yeah, I saw that. I think yeah. what I saw a on du- IG. A dude was and like, a woman walk by and be like, he fine, and then don't even say nothing. Somebody yeah. was like, yeah, because we know how to appreciate attraction and, and keep it the fuck moving. Yeah. That's yeah. No, but it's like, I mean, because I've been there. You see a woman, and you see that she attractive. Sometimes you might let her walk by, but... Sometimes you might say, man, let me see what's over here. Hey, blue tights, 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 blue tights. Niggas is so annoying. Bitch, that's how it goes. Hey, green sundress. <laughs> One God, we heard you the first time. I swear what? To God. One what? God. And niggas be like, you you said it to a bitch, she don't even speak. Um, cause I owe you, ooh, like I owe you nothing. Hey, bitch the with the gladiator sandals. <laughs> <laughs> See, first of all, I do have some gladiator esque sandals, yeah. and I've never worn them because of niggas like you. Hey, bitch <laughs> with the wet and wavy weed. Hey, what if they was like, bitch with the lace front? Hey, hey, lace front, lace front. First of all, <laughs> hashtag wet lace. You know what I, mean? I bleached my knots, bitch. You don't know nothing. So. <laughs> it's going to be like, hey, they hey. they called you by something embarrassing? Hey, like, raggedy ass Team Jordans. Hey, right, Team Jordans. Right. Hey, hey, Team Jordans. Hey, hey, come here, boy. Hey, bitch with the dream catcher tattoo. <laughs> Okay, first of all, I have a dream catcher tattoo. You are triggering right now. I have a trigger. You done got my sandals. You done hit my set. Fuck you. He came for you being a, uh, hey, a team a, mom. A, a fake tech fleece. That's what I'm going to start getting niggas. <laughs> I'm going to start lighting these niggas up. A beady bed. Like hey, patches. Today, but people, some people are so respectful. Like this, uh, I was walking to my car from the parking lot, and this guy, um, he was an older guy. He was like, "You look so nice today," and I was like, "Thank you." And we walked up. He was it. like, "That yeah. ass is clapping, girl." But he that's said, what he said to himself. But <laughs> but as long as he didn't like, hear that, you like, know, it's just right, I'm cool <laughs> with that. Yeah. I'm cool with that. But but just to say thank you and that, like, mm-hmm. I appreciate. Okay, thank you. You know, oh, man, I really I was like, that. oh man, somebody was literally like. Y'all bitches be acting like we asking for your social security number. We just asking for your name. Bitch, I don't owe you a motherfucking thing. Yeah. Right. I want to tell you my name, but stranger. It's all about being respectful. Because, like, yes. I know my dad, he's, like, just, like, an A1 gentleman. So, like, <laughs> we was out last week. I was like, oh, man, this John fat as shit. And my dad was like, yeah, she's a very nice-looking lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's his, that, He basically said, yeah, I agree. She is fat as shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It just irks me. Like, stop with the fucking entitlement. I don't have to tell you my name. Leave me alone, but, but this stranger. Is, this I is don't the only like thing I'll know you. You are exactly right. But why do women think that a man wouldn't approach you if he thinks that he's if he's attracted to you? No, People, we're not. Women, saying... no, hold on. Women be like, I don't want to be approached when I'm in the grocery store, or I want to be approached when I'm out with my friends, or I want to be approached when I'm in church. Well, well, bitch, when can I try to talk to you? Like, God damn. Yeah, Let I don't be. say that. Well, I don't want to be approached. It's certain situations. Like, if I'm with my child, don't approach me. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck what you want. Do not approach me when I'm with my child. I feel like that's inappropriate. I don't want you near my kid. But how and, is it inappropriate no, I get, if I think I get ju- the logic, but I mm. still don't. It makes okay, me I uncomfortable. You. I don't want strange men around me, especially with my daughter. Like, come on, dog. Get the fuck from around here. Okay. If it's so, meant to be, mm-hmm. we will cross paths. At another time, I disagree with but that. I want but you to fuck from. I don't way. like men around. I don't like a guy did that at the mall one time. I took my daughter trick or treating for Halloween last mm-hmm. year, and this guy like literally just comes up to me, and just starts wrapping me up like, "Oh, that's your daughter." Like, "Oh, oh true, how you doing?" Yeah. So I'm trying. I'm just like, "No, thank you." Like, well, how about, so how about, how about if a guy did? How about if a guy did this right? You you and Journey at the grocery store, right? I know this seems a, a bit you know far fetched, but like he has a pen and paper, writes his you know you know number down and says, "Hey." I didn't want you know approach you. Are you with your daughter? Like he just hands it to you and just like and you open it like you know later. I mean, like, super far fetched, but I mean that I honestly I've, I would probably appreciate that, that more. Yeah. I've done that before. I though. That's why I said like, that. No, I would appreciate that far more than you mm-hmm. coming in like right. I just don't like when I'm with my kid. I'm with my kid. I don't really want that energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Know. It's like I, I get just, why you will because you feel like you have to take yeah. that shot. But because like, I might never I don't, never see I, you again. I this personally g- don't. This girl said I don't want you to approach me. I'm in the club dancing with my friends. Huh? Well, bitch, when am I supposed to meet you? Well, as far as that, okay, <laughs> so about the the growth with, with, with my child, uh, if, if I was single, 
you know, say, you're I not wouldn't, even, this ain't even your fight. I mean, no, but I, I'm <laughs> sharing my opinion. You know I'm sharing my opinion on it. You know, I wouldn't mind if somebody. It depends so on how you, respectful they come off. You're in a grocery store buying chlorophyll. Go ahead. Yes, <laughs> I'm in the chlorophyll you section. Get that from the motherfucking <laughs> lawn and garden at Walmart. What you saying? Right, I'm at the mall with a robe on. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? With a robe on, covering up the clappers, the clapper cape. Oh my oh, god, them Jones is not covered up. <laughs> clappers yes. just be be snacking so, on the robe. So he's respecting <laughs> me for my beauty and not my booty. Yes, mm-hmm. right. You can hide that ass. What, yes, girl? I be hiding oh, it. No, you oh. don't. You don't. I do. You don't. Okay. It's there. Why so, you had the Z on there? I zoo. I zoo. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what you do. I Willie Park zoo. And she's zone. <laughs> no, that's the crazy part. She's zone. You don't even hide it. <laughs> so, okay, so if I'm at the grocery, at the mom's, get my chlorophyll and whatnot, <laughs> bok choy, and I'm with Riley, if some, it depends on, first of all, you better acknowledge my daughter. You know what I'm saying? While I'm there. Uh, I would I, just prefer hey, that you Hey, how you doing? Hey, baby girl. Um, do you mind if I say something to you real quick? Like, you know, don't just act yes, like I'm she ain't there. I, like, but then, no, but then that's kind of <sighs> pedophilish. How? <laughs> How? Because How is that I, don't, I, do, I do not talk to random little girls. I no, was so. But if you're talking to me, yeah. if you say something to me, hey, how you doing? Uh, hey, baby girl. You so know, do, do I squat is, down like, hey, give her no, a handshake? No, no, hey, just like, little mama. just even if it's even if she ain't even paying attention, but mm. the fact that you acknowledge her, I think that's respectful. No, it's but, respectful, but like, don't just. It, 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 don't it, it, but I wouldn't be. But if you say, hey, do you mind? I know you got your. I know you got your uh, daughter with mm. you, or you have a child. You gotta keep you. it short and sweet. Yeah. Do you? Do, can I talk to you for a second? And I'll be able to say yes or no. Mm. And I but like I don't mind. Start doing that, I'm gonna just be like, depending. Hey, if I'm single and it's a Michael B. Jordan looking nigga, I'm gonna be like, sure. You know, I just. Let like, me get out the yeah. aisle. <laughs> Let me get out the way. Certain, no, certain the only elements, reason... I'm just not in that mind space to mm-hmm. talk to men. And it's like typically when I'm with my kids. The so. reason I don't talk to... Look, I went out with um, Vic the uh, Tennessee, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm on the, um, uh, I'm about to get on the elevator, right? And this little white girl comes up with the bathing suit, right? Yeah. So she's going up. Oh, yeah. I think you said that before. And she gets on the you know, elevator. She's like, are you going up? I'm like, no. I'll take the next one up. Yeah. I just don't ever want it to be like... Yeah, you don't even want to be like in that I'm cross, you know. That's a, no. that's a sl- that's a little bit different. You be alone on the elevator with a young white girl at that mm. and you, as a black man. That's a little bit different from mm. I don't know. I just I feel like I always treat my child like a human too. So, I wouldn't want somebody to just talk when they, you know, say mm-hmm. hi to me and then totally disregard her, especially please, if you want something from me. Please like, don't talk to me or my kid. Thank you for thank you so much. I I, like, I, so I, tell so nigga, so I told a nigga that I was person. actually talking to mm-hmm. that I ended up having to run across in the circumstance, because we had to cross, mm. you know, paths or whatever, and I had to bring her with me, mm. and it was in a public setting, and I was just like, "Do not engage her." Well, no, and, that's di- hold and on. And then he chose to engage her. That's and different. When he engaged her. You're cut off because I asked you not to engage her because for one, you're not a permanent fixture in my life, and I and you're not damn sure not gonna be hurt. But don't if I ask you not to talk to my child. Don't fucking that's talk a bit, to my That's child. a bit different. You already told, you established those boundaries because everybody is different. I respect it's super frustrating when people don't respect that. Like, yeah, it is. You have to respect. Hold I on, mean, you was talking to him? Yeah. We were just talking. But I that's her, that's, that's still thing. her boundaries you, and her they, opinion I understand, on that. I, no, I understand that. Niggas yeah. don't meet my kids. The niggas that so meet my why kids. why she did? Because I had to bring her with me. It wasn't I, a then, no, then it y'all wasn't, don't meet. No, it wasn't it wasn't oh. for that. It was for oh. another reason. We we had to meet. It was it was like a business situation. Gotcha. It wasn't a, a social or a date or nothing like that, but I had to yeah. bring her with me. Oh, she was okay. with That's, me. Okay. So I'm like, okay, I gotta run in here real quick. She was with me. We were so in you a said, store. Don't talk to my daughter. We were in a store. No, I told him that over the phone. Like, don't engage her. Mm-hmm. And when I got in there, he just completely disrespected me. Yeah, that's that's it. Hey, jerk. And you know, niggas think they know her because you know me and you've been on FaceTime with me and you've heard her in the background. And you right. think you know my child. You don't know her. Don't talk to her. Mm-hmm. So you're like, hey, jerk. And she's confused because she's looking at me like, how the fuck this nigga know my name? And she's looking right. at me like, who is this nigga? And I'm like, girl, get behind me. Y'all, you know? hey, y'all don't engage as Shay will be on no more. No. Huh, leaves and my kids. If you speak <laughs> to me, you tell your kids not to engage me because when SJ see me, he be like, son, he gives me a hug. Bino gives me a hug. He tells me that he's going to sell me his hair in like two years. Bino, so, hey, Bino fresh. I mean, I, I told him. He, I want his samurai you gotta, braid. You got to slow it down. I want what his, are you saying? I want his samurai braid. He just, he, I can, I mean, he just is very particular to women. Oh, okay. Like, you know what he I'm saying? Like, he just like, Hug and they were like, "Hey, 
let me show you my Paw Patrol book. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you get them, young bitch. <laughs> Bitches be sold on Paw Patrol, son. That's how you get them, son. They be like, oh, oh what? That's not bad. Mm-hmm. I took him to a pool party <laughs> once, right? And, you know, of course, you know, none of the bitches in the pool. So he got his little, um, what the fuck is those? Little fake floaties Whatever, on. little floaties on, right? Floaties on. So he was like. Treating them like they're muscles. But you can't <laughs> swim? And she like, nah, I can't swim. I just don't want to get my head wet. It's like, nah, you can't swim. I can teach you how to swim. Get in the pool. I'm like, yeah. Oh, he's like the yeah. best wingman yeah. ever. I'm like, do that shit, that son. He's probably wingman. like, I got you. <laughs> right. Floaties go. No, nah, it wasn't safe, for me. Ma. She was ugly as shit. No, that's probably oh. what he was like. I, you like Bino, Bino. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he, I could just tell already he has like a way with words. So. Oh, oh, my he's man. He's so sweet. Bino. He is. He's, a, he's so precious. How much money do y'all think you need to have in order to be considered successful? Um, money don't. I mean, go ahead, y'all. I mean, and, and talking to the mic, please. Oh yeah, no, you know, no. I can see where you're going with that, and I I do agree that money doesn't necessarily like automatically correlate correlate with. But we're success. talking about when it comes to money, like. But when it comes to money, I mean, shit. Like saved in a bank, like assets. I mean, we talk about liquid. Not trying to be difficult, but I mean, I would like, like to have like at least money, a, like I would like to have at whatever. least a year's worth of expenses. Personally, that would that would make me feel really, really good at minimum. Like you know, to to really feel like okay, I'm in a good place. You know, where it's I could float myself for the next year if circumstances should happen. But I yeah. added like a minimum. But I would I would love like six figures would be amazing. So, but what look, about, you, you're on, you're on your way there. I guess. Don't say I w- yeah. No, no, no. It's not I look, you gotta you claim have to speak it. Speak it into existence. Like how do you I believe mean, it? How do you believe in law of in a, of attraction and not karma? Me? Law of attraction? What's law? I don't even know what's law, law of, of attraction. Law of attraction is speaking things into existence, yeah. what you're talking you about. Like, talk about oh, like you already had No, it. because I feel like if as soon as I tell my son, I tell both of them, as soon as you say I can't do something, you won't. You won't. I get that. I, don't, you I, that's don't. law of attraction right there. That's law. Do, that's, oh, that's I law of attraction. attraction is like on some dating shit. No, no. It's, it's speaking things uh. into existence. It's treating it like you already have it. Right. That's how you get it. You treat and, it like you already and, got it. And it goes both ways. If you say, like you said, you say you can't do something, or I hope I don't get, end up blah, 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 mm. you will attract that as well. Gotcha. Calm is... Karma is just bullshit. Like it's no like. But, people, but make, my thing, I, I feel you. People, people made that like shit up that. to make people feel guilty about shit that they do. That's not. But I, how? Do, I was just trying to say, like, how do you believe in law of attraction, but not, not karma? Right. That's what I'm. They kind of go hand. They kind of go hand. No, they don't. Hand they hand don't. Hand they don't. Hand I mean, me. a little, a little bit. Yeah, they do. Be, no, I get, me, what, you're, I get no, what you're saying. No, to you, but not to me. So. But what's what's funny is though that I can kind of get what you're saying though because I think that I think that the whole concept of karma not that I say that I don't believe that it can exist mm. but I think the whole concept of it is really just something to help people who've been wrong sleep at night like because nah. you didn't get your revenge you're like karma gonna get you and it's people who literally go through their whole lives as shitty people it never comes back on them so now it's <laughs> well it could go down to your kids now oh, yeah. you gotta get some type of <laughs> they're gonna justify a way no but it doesn't necessarily happen to you but your grandchildren might face it okay. No, I- I gotcha. believe I do believe that. No, I'm not people, knocking that, but I feel like that was like the origin of that for no, that. I don't think for so. a lot of people. Yeah. It was just like, yeah, it didn't get you. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, oh it, didn't get, it didn't get you. Okay, it's cool. But see, my, my, my thing get you is <laughs> you may not think it got them, but you don't know what goes on in their minds or what type of mental turmoil that they might be going through. They may not just because they oh. stole someone's money, that don't mean somebody stole their money. It may happen in other ways that right. y'all may oh. not see. Whatever so, helps oh. you sleep at night. So. Yeah, got you. That's, and that's what I feel. I, no, I really believe it. And it's not, a, and it, I don't even use it for like, so it everything that bad, if somebody did something wrong to me, I would look at it as in what I do and in, mm. in, in how I have an honor system just so it doesn't come back with me either. Yeah, so think about the next no, time you poop in the bed with Chris. Yeah. Pe- coming no, coming back. No, people be beefing <laughs> with people. No people be beefing with people, and then, like, the next week, they die in a car accident, they're like, that's calm. I'm like, no, he just was wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> like, like but karma, I hate you karma can't. is who told him not to click it. <laughs> but you know what? You it. can't call other people's karma because you don't know that's, that person's day do. to day. But yeah. I know, but that's yeah. wrong. Just you like don't know. So- you don't know that person's data. You only know those two instances, and then it's that's like what you're someone else it. said. Like when when niggas be going through shit, like you can't help them because you might be interrupting their karma. I was like, what type of shit? Is that? <laughs> I believe in karma, though. I really do. No, I now I, I definitely believe. Like I try to do, you know, right by. 
people, but I don't think because I did some fucked up shit, that's why some. But it'd be shit mad disproportionate people. though, like. Oh yeah, I dropped that ten dollars. He picked it up and he ain't fucking say shit. It's cool. Then he dies. He gets hit by a bus next week. See, <laughs> bitch, I don't feel like that fit the crowd. Like, right? People just be doing. People Whatever just, helps you sleep at night. They like, try to call. You can't call somebody else because you don't know. Yeah, because all know? people like say somebody do some fucked up shit to somebody, right? Yeah. And you do some fucked up shit. People are like, well, you might have been God's, you know, plan in his karma, like. Right, so wow. when you gonna get yours? Like, wow. cause you still did some fucked up shit. Yeah. Then, you, so then, how, then, then it's grace, just being recycled. Like, then, you know what I'm saying? Th- but, but energy, that's what energy does. Energy mm. does not die. Like, energy keeps going. So you put, ne- and that's yeah, all it, it is. You put one body to another. I don't right. So yeah. you you put positive energy out there that comes back. That, you know, you put negative mm-hmm. energy out there, and that's I mean, all the karma. So you think so? Do positive stuff and just keep going through it. Like, what's their story? You know what they're gonna say? It was their grandmother's. Your grandmother no. was a hoe. Your grandmother was a hoe, so now you're getting all her some karma. People, but some people have, have positive things, but they can't see. Your grandmother was a hoe. Yeah. I know, I know you're a nun, but your grandmother was a hoe. Nana so, was fucking yeah. it up. So we now we like, missed her, so we had to dump all her karma on you. Right, what Fuck type you. of soul ass yeah. mentality? Why do I ever yeah. bring up a topic? Yeah, you lost it. your house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Right, because your grandmother was what's fucking a, was a fucking Nip- Nip- Nipsey dicks. sussy roll queen and shit. Now you gotta suffer. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that should be sounding funny though. I fucking hate y'all. No, it's like no, I do believe in it to a certain degree, but I feel like a lot of people just abuse the concept of they it do. because it makes them feel better. Yeah. Like, oh man, that nigga really fucking ripped me off, and I ain't get to. He cheated on me for sixteen years, and I ain't get to get no revenge. But karma though, yeah. Karma gonna, gonna get, get you. you. Meanwhile, this nigga been married for 10 years. He got three kids. They happy as shit. They just, just won the lottery. He, he looking good. <laughs> and you over here still talking about it's cool. Enjoy your little millions. Uh-huh. And, and <laughs> Enjoy you know what people say? But, but, and, but look, karma. <laughs> but yada, people say, he living good, but karma has no expiration date. So when he gets to 82, right. he loses his foot. He be like, ah, karma caught your ass. Right, bitch. Karma be, slow bitch as shit. Be, be, be happy. He lived a great <laughs> life, bitch. He lost a foot two days before he died. His life was amazing. Karma slow <laughs> as shit. But, see? But the, the sometimes shit. it happens like that, and mm-hmm. sometimes it be like gotcha. clockwork. Yeah, I've seen some instant karma. Mm-hmm. I, like, when I my mean, roommate fell down the stairs that time back Is in it the day, karma or is it light? No, that it, was karma. She she fell. She didn't even put a. She had just put a period on the end of a shit talk sentence and fell yeah. down the stairs. I was like, damn, that was that's the, that's the karma that be happening to me. <laughs> she we was going down the stairs and she was like, but how, how, does, going to Halloween. how does that even know? Look, you we was going to a Halloween party <laughs> and we was going down the stairs and we, and we took it to the garage and she's like, yeah, you know they got a twenty a hundred dollar costume contest tonight, so you know if either one of us win, we should get the other person twenty dollars. She was like, but if I win, I ain't giving nobody shit. Hits the landing. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just like, dude. You put that negative energy out there, that mm-hmm. bitchy energy, and she that was, shit hit you right yeah, back. She like wasn't even woke, though. Her eyes was closed. She was all stretched out. She had broke both the heels off of both her mm-hmm. shoes, and my yeah, fucking that's... eye was about to mm-hmm. fucking explode trying not to laugh. But yeah. Her sister tried to put the heels back on like they was Legos or something. She was like, I'm like, bitch, they don't snap on. What is she doing? But that, that, you know, it's about the energy. At the end of the day, you can call it karma, you can call it whatever, but I do believe that energy that you put out comes back. So, all right, say if you do some fucked up shit, right? And then, like, something bad happens to so you. Do you say, oh, shit, that's because yes. I, I scanned. How do you, I was how in the self-checkout line. How do you which bad yeah. thing you did that this is assigned to? I do a lot of fucked it depends, up shit. It depends, it depends on the situation. Because you kind of know, like, you kind of know, like, if you kind of did somebody... I know somebody who who is probably getting karma for some shit that they did to me. So I right, say, so so you queen, that means you got a dick fart coming back. So <laughs> like, say if a wife is cheating on her husband, right? Seriously wrong with you. Say if a wife wife is cheating on her husband, <laughs> and then like bad stuff, she's like, oh damn. Yeah, some people like some people have that self realization. Oh, honey. Like okay, so let's say okay, so for example, say you or somebody say somebody because I'm not even gonna put that on y'all. Committed like some type of fraud to get y'all car new, y'all you know get y'all car totaled. Mm. Then you get a brand new car and then you hit somebody and it's all on you. That's how oh, you mean. Hold on, me commit insurance fraud? Not I will. you. I will. Don't I need a that. new car. Allegedly, but <laughs> say, say someone did that. Say, he just joking. This is satire. Nah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm triggered. Like you my, 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 car, my car's about to roll down a hill. And meet your motherfucker. I need a. But yeah. I'm saying so. If that happens, you know. Okay, so basically that's the example I'm using. 
you and if something happens with that and then it, it with the new car and it's all on you you got like damn why well, did I mean, kind of get this still on gotta the pay, but so fuck it it's like mm-hmm. <laughs> but, but one is one is you get the check to get enough and the other mm-hmm. one is you're at fault you feel what i'm saying like a little bit and it's not total but no, I don't feel what you're saying, but nah, I, I'm gonna pay this deductible and they're gonna fix the uh-huh, shit. It's like, nah, but no, I get what you're saying. I'm yeah, not, I'm not yeah. I, I, the li- listeners, the hit like it. So, but this is what I'm saying. Oh, this is so how I feel about it. So, so break. This is how I feel about it. So, back. it's crazy because no matter what you do, because you got tons of family members and it can happen to you. So, you could do right all your life and still get back done I mean, to you. Right, because your uncle so you, was a bitch, some of so now you got to pay So you might as well do bad yourself. No, it's a, it's a combination. Keep the party going. It's a combination <laughs> of it's a combination of life and energy. Man, no, fuck these life. kids. Y'all life. get my it's karma. Life. In my it's opinion. Like, Journey DJ. No, no, and I'm not, you know, what y'all, but like when I say it, when sh- shit bad to me, I'm like, man, it's life. Everybody goes through it. Like nobody like lives mm-hmm. a perfect life. But like, I feel like some people, some people that do more negative shit, a lot of put more negative energy is going to get more negative energy so, out of life, in so, my opinion. Because I know a lot of crooks. So how the fuck is so Donald you, Trump still here? Okay, so look, like so, you don't life. know what karma so he's you, getting, though. Did you hear he's about the um, the accident? I think it was in New York, but four sisters died. Yeah. Like a whole bunch. Like, in a, what? So, this is how I think. What has that parent done? See, that come on, everything to, is not that like that though. But you don't. So you, that's what I'm saying. Who decides what karma? Like when bad shit, people are like, oh, it's life, and some is karma. Well, how the fuck I know which one is which? Because <laughs> you would know. It's it, it's up to you. It's made up. You, that's no, why. No, no, no. You would know about you, mm-hmm. but you wouldn't know about them because you don't know them. Right? But they did, no, so so no I don't know. Or, or the, because they're not the only ones affected by that. You have the the driver lost his life. The company has to suffer from that. I'm the just company like, is going to get, get sued. me, man. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck everybody got get? No, but I'm saying like it's a whole lot of I, players involved man, in that whole situation. When I see little babies die or like little girls getting raped and like what their parents have to go through, I'm like, and I don't know them. I don't know what they right. did. Maybe they've. They're serial killers. Right. But safe or not, what? what is the co- it, some of it's just life. It's just no. Like, did you guys I, I think it's bo- I think both can be true. Gotcha. Did you guys Some see that my- story about that Detroit uh funeral home that had got shut down? With and the eleven they found infant babies. Eleven infant bodies in the ceiling. Infant no. babies. Yeah, what was it? Cantrell? Yeah, they said well infant means baby, but yeah. okay. Yeah, they found eleven infant corpses in the ceiling. So apparently these motherfuckers was Basically, like, yeah, we doing y'all a favor because you ain't got all the money to pay for your funeral, but so we gonna hold the bodies until y'all get the money. And they was putting about like they weren't properly storing bodies. Like they had got shut down because the inspector came in there and they found two bodies in an unrefrigerated garage with mold <laughs> grown over them. They weren't storing them refrigerated. They weren't storing them properly, so they shut them down. They never reopened. And then mm. they were gonna turn it into like a community center or something. Yeah. So like construction workers and stuff were there, and they ended up in the ceiling and they found eleven yeah. infant bodies but in the ceiling. And since you didn't pay your car, and they had time, receipts. That's some of karma. notices. Some of the babies had receipts on them, like the people didn't pay yet. Wow. I'm like, nigga. Yeah, that's karma. See, Sean, you don't have to be an ass. You don't to disagree. Yes, he does. You don't. It's in his nature. <laughs> like, I get you, mm-hmm. and you ain't got to feel me. Somebody out there feel me, though. No, but no, but no. <laughs> but I'm not mad at people. No, but one thing that is, was I feel like, like <laughs> I'm not mad at people who believe in it because I'm not, that's what, your belief. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that I'm right. You know what but I mean? But you ain't got to be it. Oh, yeah. That's because. Somebody's mom. Like, come on. It's a baby. Things happen to babies. Kids get cancer. You know, oh, that that's sometimes that's Kids life and health. Kids have done nothing wrong. Like, why? Sometimes yeah. it's just life, and sometimes it is negative energy that you put out. Yeah, I'm just, I'm so sensitive, honestly, um, just when it comes to any crimes or any, you know, bad things that happen to kids. It's like, it really, like, hits my heart. Oh, no, it's disgust. It is. It's disgust. I don't understand how somebody could, like, willfully like you, harm a child. Like yeah. Yeah, like you were saying, those two men that, that raped were, that nine-month-old baby, it's what like, the and f- then recorded it. It's like, first of all, how sick are you death to penalty. even have we need the death- sexual desire to do something to yeah. a nine-month-old baby? Like, are you kidding me? That's just, that's sick beyond reason. Yeah, uh, I, I gotta kill you. That's my Yeah, you child. have to go. Yeah. You have to die. Both I of can't. you. That I happened to a seven month old baby before, and they said that baby had like shit, permanent man. in like I mean, well, I don't know if permanent, but they said that that child suffered like internal damage to like all of her organs. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> can we not talk? Can we yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's I can't. Now I just want to go get the strap. Like I cannot. 
sick ass. To me, see, that's not a lot. That's not. All right, fuck it. We don't have to talk about that shit. Fuck that. Yeah, we done. I'm done with that. Um, nice wristband you got there. Yeah. The shame of someone. What's weird? What you got coming up? What you more than to a party? What you oh yeah, got? oh yeah. If anybody's um, um watching the show, which you should be, Halloween party coming up. Um, you can dress as your favorite athlete, celeb. I want you to know the athlete doesn't have an F in it. But go ahead. Athlete. Oh, I'm a real Ath- nigga. Athlete. I said athlete. Athlete. <laughs> celeb actor. Um, this Friday, October nineteenth. A big chief. That was your uh, Oh, I'll, yeah, I'm going to be there. I think I might dress up as Serena. Yeah, you, you look like her. 10 p.m., 3 a.m. Hey, no, funny thing, though, I was in a, in a music course, music as cultural expression mm-hmm. for school that I just finished, mm-hmm. and I had to do a field work project, and I chose Go-Go as my topic. Yeah. yeah. Ghetto, you know me. Yeah. So I had to, like, you know, like, listen to CCB. Mm-hmm. I interviewed, did an interview with CCB. Shout out CCB. Stuff. Yes, who's going to be at the, at the Halloween party, so I post my project in my classroom for discussion. Yeah. This girl was like, oh my God, I love CCB. Roll call was my shit. We in the class like, bitch. Girl, you know they got a show on the, t- on yeah. the 19th. It was so yeah, bad. Tell, hey, tell all y'all friends. I'll send y'all to fly. It was so bad. Come we through. Were really well, We'll probably, well, me and Chris will be in there probably. Oh, yeah. We probably would have had an ass old. clap battle if, if it wasn't, if we hadn't remembered that it was God school. God damn. <laughs> shout but, out to Prairie. Shout out to my nigga E-Time, Sponge, Nick, Spence, Stamped ENT. You know, I'm in a whole bunch of gangs. I'm in the NDP gang, Stamped ENT gang, GMC. I love y'all. Y'all know that already. Okay. You hear me? <laughs> Nah, you, y'all <laughs> know y'all. No, nah, that fans. was lit though. But like, nah, Perry, y'all like I uh, see me with the hands for, for that for that interview. <laughs> no, I'm um, gonna show you these interview answers, and you're gonna be like, okay. nigga. <laughs> gotcha. Um, voting. Everybody knows that the elections are coming up in November six. Uh, vote for what? Local elections. All oh, about to say, I'm like, damn. I'm an, elite, I'm an illegal. <laughs> <laughs> so an we were having this discussion in the salon this week, and basically everybody, of course, disagreed with me. But not only did they disagree with me, they when disagreed not, with me in a, an emotional way. Like, when do it, people not disagree with you? Hey, man, I'm quite polarizing, if I might say so myself. And I don't have popular opinions, so yeah. it is what it is. It comes with the territory. Nice but, earrings, though. Thank you. Basically, I'm... With the notion of I'm not giving anybody my vote, mm-hmm. period. I will be doing a research, and I might do a separate video on that. I want to do that this week, but I didn't have enough time to do as much research as it takes to look at the candidates in this area, or whatever, to figure out which ones I think would be the best for the job. Um, but I will be voting locally. But I'm not as far as presidential. That's what they were talking about presidential, even though that's not coming up yet. I'm not giving nobody my vote. I don't care. I'm not voting just to vote with the Democrats against Trump. I'm just not mm. giving it up like that. And I respect people who do. If that's your opinion or that's what you feel like, do is, you really respect them? Yeah, oh. I do, because I respect their their right to be an individual. Gotcha. You know, um, if you want to just vote against Trump, by all means. But I personally am not giving away my vote just to be against Trump. What are y'all thoughts on that? Nah, I'm in the charity. I'm giving that shit away. Who <laughs> who who running against Trump? Who uh what's your name? Yeah, I'm you got I'm just tired of being vote. a I'm just so tired of black people. Nuts. Yep, these nuts. <laughs> what what's the the, the gorilla <laughs> nigga who was running? Harambe. <laughs> Harambe. <laughs> Run it back my nigga. I just, you got my vote. But aren't y'all really tired? tired? <laughs> Not y'all, but aren't you tired as black people of being political whores? Like it's like we just want to pick from a pimp that's going to abuse us mentally to a pimp that's going to abuse us physically. Like, I don't want to be abused at all. I mean, that part, but that's, I mean, like, it's just like the likelihood. It's just like, Mm -hmm. what? (laughs) No, I mean. Like, happen or whatever. Like, Yeah, I'm not, so, okay, so, say if the. Niggas going to abuse us, man. Say if you do the research, right, and you don't like the candidate, right? Yeah. All right. So are you just want to vote for Trump because I'm not going to no, vote? She's not going to vote at all. At all. Oh, you're not going to vote for that for, for that particular one. Yeah, gotcha. I'm voting locally for sure because that's what closely affects us. Are you but vote for Ben Jealous. I'm still doing my research on Ben Jealous. I'm not going to just you know he he sound good, but His parents were definitely so, playing. So some yeah. right <laughs> with that name. I, <laughs> yes, it's crazy. I didn't used to vote right, yeah. and I, I I had like a firm stance in that, but like just like now, like. I feel like it's my duty. I, and honestly, I'm not 
as well versus as y'all yeah. in politics. Like electoral co- our votes don't matter, they do not matter. But I had to talk about, you know, my late uh, you know, grandfather, you know, who passed away. And like he's just what, was two generations? Yeah. Like the shit that he had to go through and like I just feel like it's my due diligence to vote. Well, let and me, I'm not knocking anybody yes. who you know doesn't because like I said I just changed this. Like I I voted one time. I just want people to put into perspective the the listeners. Your ancestors did fight for the right right, right to vote, to vote. Mm-hmm. not so, for you just to be a political hoe and just open up your booty anytime yeah, the Democrats <laughs> scare you into not voting for the Republicans. Like that's you not talking what about they butts wanted. a lot today on this show. Far I end, attacked. big dumps. Yeah, I mean, it was your name was not your sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's sweet, sweet baby brains. No, no, it's not sweet baby brain anymore. Oh, it is in my house. <laughs> the <head. Donald laughs> wow. dumps now. <laughs> BD big dumps. <laughs> no, they didn't fight back for the right though. They did fight. Go ahead. <laughs> what the fuck just that? <laughs> did, did you, you know? say back it up and dump? Yeah, I know. I, Shout I, I out to Way. I, I heard it in the context. I'm very upset. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, they did fight for you just that so for you to have the right to vote because before there was no right, so you didn't have that autonomy to decide I'm gonna vote, I'm not gonna vote. It was nigga, you not voting. So they fought for you to have that right to choose. So if you choose not to, that's fine. Mm-hmm. If you choose to, that's also fine. But I can understand what you're saying yeah. as far as, like, I'm not just going to give my vote to somebody just because I feel like they're the lesser of two evils. I'll just fucking fall back. Yeah, and and it's, it's like you want to exercise coming. your right if you if you believe. <laughs> if you be, <laughs> Did you really cough in his armpit? But no, if you, if, like you, oh, if you if you believe blade. in it, but if you don't, I just don't think that it's productive for you to just, to just give it up like that because mm-hmm. what it says is indirectly that... You anybody will will just get it. <laughs> yeah. But anybody that, can get it. Whoever scares you into voting for somebody like nobody's. If you're not offering anything tangible, mm-hmm. and to be honest, I think we should get like a voting pool together, especially in this area. We got the network to do it. Get some start like some type of fund where people put ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever, and have a voting pool. And we that way we buy the politicians. We'll say we want because this is what you do. You don't vote for a Democrat or Republican. You vote for whoever has your best interest. If you, we have a list of things that we. Who be having done, our best interest? The, whoever we go mm. to and and tell them. But what, isn't what we, that's what, why Trump is in office because people didn't vote? No, because Hillary got the popular no. vote. Is that he got into office because they're doing an investigation now with the whole collusion and all of that stuff? His his, his uh presidency was hacked just like uh. Bushes, Bushes was, was. Mm-hmm. you know, uh, it's, it is about the electoral college, and then when people talk about Maryland, Mar- I think Maryland got like thirteen electoral mm-hmm. votes. We're a ninety percent blue, uh, so it, it, whether I voted or not, mm-hmm. they're gonna get thirteen electoral college so, votes from here. So if it and was very hacked, rare that they go against so, the, the, the party. So like, right. so like you said, if his was hacked, Bush was hacked, would do it matter if we vote or not? Well. It 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 doesn't matter. It te- technically, mm-hmm. it matters on a local level, mm-hmm. but it really doesn't matter if we don't get our money together and buy these politicians. Gotcha. So we say, say we got together people from Maryland or whatever, and we're like, we get money together. Mm-hmm. We got uh, ten thousand people to put up ten or twenty dollars or whatever, and we're voting as a as a tea party or a pool or whatever. If we say, okay, we here's the list of things that we want. We want you to work on education. We want you to work on black uh, loans, whatever the, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And we're like, whoever's going to get this list down mm-hmm. or the most that's to their ability, that's who we're going to get our pool of votes and our pool of money for your campaign. Mm-hmm. That's how you get shit done. Yeah, you can't get black people. Will there be snacks? There can be. See, that's how you There's get going to be mimosas there. Have, there, can be. there can snacks. be. There can be, but snacks I feel like that's I feel like that's <laughs> something that we have to do though or else it won't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, else our votes will just not matter. I'm trying to be better. Dad, you was all coughing and stuff and you sharing wine. Well, I, I poured it We're from the family. opposite end of the glass. We're like, family. It don't matter. Why are you mad disrespectful? He 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 um he took an emergency. So <laughs> <laughs> Emerge. And did you know that people just now realize that oxtails were like cow tails? Huh? This is really sad. It's really random, but I just thought about that. What? Like people were really like, I just realized, I just found out that oxtails were the tail of a cow. Bitch, ox tails. I didn't know that either. But Hold I on, also it's not from an ox? Ox are, oh, Jesus Christ. Oxes are male cows? Yes, castrated male cows. 
For real? Oh, yeah. Cows wow. are the females. Bulls are the non-castrated males. Ox are the castrated males that they have for work. Yeah, no, bulls did. different. Bulls got the fucking horns. No, bulls are castrated males. Oxen are not. I mean, no, bulls are not castrated. Oxen are, ca- are castrated. Hold on, why they got horns and cows don't get horns? Because they're males they and do. females. The same way men have dicks and women don't. So all cows are females? Cows, technically, are female. They're all Boo. bovine. Bovine is the family of animals. Boo. First of all, give me a fucking dictionary. I don't you know have Google th- on your Android phone. Um, look, Why you had to say? <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm sorry, it was disrespect, but I meant it. Um, but no, bovine is the family of animals. The cows are the women. The bulls are the males that are, have not been castrated, and the ox are the work males that have been castrated. But ox tails are cow tails, essentially. Why didn't? Just inspired. Sorry. Oh shit! And the bigger pieces are the ones that are closest to the booty hole. That's why. Damn. Niggas eating booty. No, they're eating the piece that's closest to the booty. Hey, oh my God, this is my girl. <laughs> she fine as shit. I feel like that is just like super mental health. Got you. Okay. This was so appropriate. This yeah. is retardation. Hey, look at her stomach. Look, we hey. have to stop making these things things. Nah, I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. We get mad when bullshit is out here. Cow, bitch, I'm a cow. I'm not a cat. I don't say now. Bitch, I'm hey. a cow. Hey. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Go move. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This oh, is like, it. we have to stop <laughs> complaining about all the bullshit we encounter, but we keep making bullshit things. First of 25 all, 25 million I, views. Yeah, First that all, shit is like, that's, no, that's a not, level of retarded. Look, and me, look, nigga, we're no disclaimers podcast. And we letting bullshit like this, like, fucking, I, I like, thought, out China's. No, bad. first of all, Get let's that be shit creative. No, create these nuts. Get that bullshit out of here. Move I fuck with it. Move the fuck out of my way. That joint got lyrics, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't be she a part got, of this. I can't be a part bitch, of this. I quit cow. the show. This is my last episode because I can't be with these heathens. Yeah, wow. Right. And then there was two. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look, no, dis- change the show. no hey, disclaimers th- podcast without y'all is some fake ass no disclaimers <laughs> podcast. It's, it's, it's low key fake, yeah. No, nah, if you I'm want David more. Ruffin. Hold on. The tips without David Ruffin, it's some fake ass tips. You can't work it the way I do, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's like one of my favorite. Y'all think we are drunk? We're not drunk. This is we're not, we are. honestly. Like, I don't drink a lot, and, and, and some people. Came on. Don't believe me when I say I'm not a big drinker. Yeah. So when I be calling people burnt, they be like, I know you're not talking. I am talking because I don't drink a lot. Like, I'm really not a big drinker. But realize, bitch, I'm a cow. Back to voting, though, because I know this is this is just the Democrats that have been um, advertising their asses off, you know, just for people to get out there. Mm-hmm. If, they're, if they're not offering you nothing, you don't have to give them your vote because mm-hmm. all they do every time is just say, see, you see Trump, right? Vote for us over See, here. So both we parties do are that. ass. Just know that. Like, t- typically, as a whole, right. we need to explore, like, ass. really, like, other parties. Yeah, it would be nice well, to break the bipartisan system, but, yeah, good luck with that. I, see, this is the thing. I don't care who, what party it is. Let me get a refill. What happened to her? Okay. <laughs> no, she was like the the she was like LMA before LMA was LMA. Who, who's yeah. on that? Um, El Varner. El Varner. Damn, she did disappear. She was fine as shit. Too. Y'all, y'all do she know this, to this topic is important before we get out because we do about to get out. No, it is, but niggas not gonna vote anyway. So it's like, no, let me stop. <laughs> That's right. No, I just, I just, My best I just, the, 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 the sentiment that I'm trying to express basically is don't just feel like you have to give it away. You don't, and it, you shouldn't be loyal like to pussy any like group. You don't have to give it away. Yeah, right. you ain't gotta give it to every nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just cause the nigga, just because the nigga scaring you into you don't want you don't want that nigga, you know, that mm-hmm. nigga be burning. You don't want you know, like that nigga. Yeah, like, okay, do. well, I don't wanna you ain't shit either. Mm-hmm. Be not hey. burning though. <laughs> hey, y'all. No, no, seriously, seriously. No. Nah, just don't vote for Trump. I don't care who the fuck you vote for. I mean, if that's what you want, that's the thing. We gotta get Maloney out of the care. White House. This is. A, I just want people to think for themselves. If you want to vote for Trump, that's your fucking business. And if you don't want to think no, for yourself, not... listen to me. Don't. Do, like... What what has okay? What has changed for in your life since Trump has been in office? Shut up. More overt I, racism. I be broke. Whoever really? the president is. 
Move up. Because so, some people, somebody said that. Somebody was like, oh, all these races been emboldened and killing more black people. It has definitely been a difference. Like, white people have definitely been more, Way like, more over courageous her. and, like, just, like, up right. front That's with why all these racism. bitches is calling the police on everything, man. You that was, much has been, I, I don't know if that much has, if those incidents have increased or so, that they are more news. White people because called no, the police racism on wasn't, a whale. Racism was not hot news when Obama was in office because the niggas was trying to say that we were post-racial because Obama was in office. So those stories wasn't covered but like now, that. I feel like and, his and, overt racism makes them feel more comfortable in theirs and they're true. coming out of the closet mm-hmm. with it. Nigga, white people called the police on a whale. Sabre. But do you know? Oh, but I get you. I get you. But do you know that Tamir Rice, uh, Freddie Gray, Trayvon Martin, mm-hmm. and the list goes on? That happened under Obama. Mm-hmm. But the point, the, no, this, it's, it's not no, to honestly, say that these things have that. never happened. It, the magnitude of them has increased substantially. Is the mm-hmm. point? Is I, I don't know. Like I don't know that to be true. I mean, I, I would have to look up some data to, to substantially to, go down so DC and then walk down the street and see these motherfuckers. No, I'm talking now. about those those killing the unarmed killings of black men. I, I don't know if that has but it goes beyond that. Impre- it's just increase. more blatant racism now because they feel more comfortable because of the things yeah. he's done. <laughs> That's what I mean. But at the end of the day, you about to cry? Right. <laughs> at the end of the day, like I just he nigga got to go. I nigga got to go. Niggas Vote grandparents is like, damn, they don't kill presidents like they, they used to. to. <laughs> right. Like Lee Harvey Oswald don't got no grandkids or nothing. Go they ahead. have to. I don't wish that for nobody. John Wilkes Booth didn't have like a family that descendants or nothing. That's the nigga who shot Abraham. Yeah, he ain't got no descendants or nothing. I just say, look, do research for your own self. Just I don't I don't care if people vote or not vote or vote for Democrats or Republicans or whatever. I just want whatever you choose, I would like it to be an informed decision. Like if you don't vote, just be like, well, So you, you didn't vote, vote for the, last election? Not for Hillary, no, not for Hillary or, or Trump, no. Burn, who you vote? Who I didn't vote, vote for Stein? either one oh, of yeah. them. Did you vote for Jill Stein? No. Because that bitch is, I liked her, and then I realized she was man, finessing too. Just Ooh, vote oh. for me, man. I'm going to turn the national anthem into Thug Passion by Backyard. I'm a, you got my vote. Please you say it for the national anthem. That's what's wrong with black people now. <laughs> Yo, I heard it's the <laughs> You got it going on. <laughs> Don't dance when I keep it. Like... Thug Passion. Just get that cough out. Thug passion. Look, I ran out of Mucinex, and that shit was like fifteen dollars, bitch. I'm gonna have to die because I'm Yo. not buying no more. You want me stealing it? You can, Sean. St- you can steal it. I feel like they got sensors on that shit. I feel like I had you to ask them to get the key that. to come unlock that. The, Never too grown nah, to steal it. Nah, look, yes, you do, right? girl, self checkout. Well, no, no, you no, can't no, really no, do coffee. I don't do that. Don't do that. Right. You take it, have them scan him. Like, oh, it's that much? Like, oh shit, I'll put it back. That's what we scan. Then you just put it in your coochie. Okay, I got it. All right, go ahead. I swear, ahead. niggas. You sit next to the cooch. No, but uh, stay tuned for that for that uh, video of the breakdown. Of the uh, It's only going to be for Maryland, though. So if you're yeah. from somewhere else, I can't. Maryland. <laughs> because most people don't. They don't vote locally. And when they do vote, vote locally, they look at dumbass reasons. They like, oh, well, I heard a lot about this person. So, uh, name familiarity. No. Like, look at their past. Look at what they've done in the past. Look at what, they're, what they seem to I be. At least do the best See, of your ability be because we're not voting homework. in pools yet. We got to get this a, a, a voting pool together. Some, some type of something to vote as a collective so that we actually have a voice. Because us gotcha. being individuals... And I don't like I said I, I wouldn't want anybody to be loyal to no party. Be vote for who has your best interest in the the issues that you that you believe in. Right. See, we should have voted for these next. I can't with y'all. That I was can't. like an actual candidate though. We should have voted for him. These or was it? Huh? No, these it really nuts? Was, no. There really was a candidate named These Nuts. That was a hoax thing online. No, no, he was literally like, a, and he was getting like. He had like 13. I remember that. Yeah, it was actually a thing. Back when Obama. So y'all should have voted for these nuts rather than Obama. Maybe I would have voted for No, no, this was for Trump. This was during the Trump. Obama finessed me. I I looked at him and I saw my dad, so I was like, okay, I'm going to finish And then he ain't do shit (laughs) You know what? That's enough. I'm just saying, nothing has really. other. Okay, some white supremacists. Uh, have been emboldened and now ra- race is now. i these words today. <laughs> racism, racist people have kind of like took the hoods off, you know, from their clan hoodies. 
<clears throat> Hoodie season. <laughs> what are plastic bag? Never mind. I'm not getting into that. You're you're right. No, they have. Okay. No, but it, and that's that's pretty much it. But as far as like my Ku everyday Klux life, plan has ain't not nothing to fuck with. My everyday life has not has not changed since gotcha. Bush or whatever. Because he's been extra. Because uh, 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 it don't matter. Never who mind. Because I can't think of the words. Honestly, okay. it doesn't <laughs> matter who <laughs> the <laughs> president <laughs> is because <laughs> karma is bigger than the president. Oh my God, that's See, enough. This okay, is what's so wrong with you, Sean? That has been no disclaimers <laughs> podcast for today. Let's just wrap it up because I hate him. we can't keep giving him a platform. Okay, like <laughs> we can't. Give me some of that love. I can't believe we went through a year with this bullshit. Like this oh, is yeah. his anniversary Oh my god, this show. is totally t- Sean's one year anniversary with the show is tomorrow. Yeah. And you know, yay. Yay. Yep. It is. Clap it Happy up for anniversary, real Sean. We completed Got the it. circle with you. Now Got we get to hail to the Guardians of the Watchtowers of the North. Trapper of the Year four times in a row. Hail to the Guardians of the Watchtowers of the North. Hey, you putting that work, that, Sean. Is that Game of Thrones? No, that's no. Oh my God, no, that's but the craft. Honestly, it's been an honor Games to have Thrones. you for a year, and we really appreciate it's it. Been I know I do. You know, even though I cannot fucking stand you sometimes, but most times, <laughs> most times. But I think that you are a wonderful addition uh, to the show, and you add a lot. You know that it does not go unnoticed. Right. Y'all didn't get none of this shit, y'all. What? Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking amazing. Like I don't, I don't deserve any of this. I love y'all regardless what I'm y'all amazing. say about me. Because haters yes. gonna hate. You right. I got dinner and flowers and a card. Well, we tried to take niggas this tried nigga to out. take you out, but you had. We can still go out. You, you had a when? lacrosse game. I gotta, we didn't have time. When we gonna go out? Next week when I'm off this cleanse. <laughs> yeah, I can't right. wait till y'all I, niggas leave so I can cook. I, I, I put the message in the chat and said, "When can we take you out to eat?" But no you response. said you had a lacrosse game and a water polo game and like. <laughs> All right, next week, where are you going? Y'all pick the place. We'll pick it. Out <laughs> back. So going back to check it. Right. Nigga, look, we, we need driving that far. I fuck here. with out back. Out back. Out back. All right. Queens next rules week. positive. Do I got the bo- All right, next week. All right, bet. But you can't Friday? get like a steak steak. You got to like a Saturday. Steak you can't Saturday. do Saturday. I can do Saturday. You gotta right. do a. You gotta get a, a man. Steak, a though. man adjust. His yeah, schedule. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, that's it. Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> Saturday it is. Wow. You was about to one fish, two fish us, and we had time. Right. Knick-knack, patty whack. You know, we didn't get right. time for that. My bacon smelling okay. fine. No Boot ass. Love, <laughs> it's it's, it's no fine. It's fine. Love. You'll be fine. Karma. And you know? we're we'll auditioning <laughs> for new male hosts so we can balance this out. Just uh, hit me at... Um... Let's not tell that lie. Anyway, so right. yeah, this has been... We do need another... some... Uh, we do need some more male guests. You know, we need dark-skinned male guests. Oh, yeah. Typically yeah. the ones that don't want to have the sex with me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas going to want to have sex with you. Niggas going okay. to say... I'm going to say, hey, you want me on the show, but you can't have... Ask y'all to have sex. She you like, oh yeah. And then you be like, yeah, what's up with Shorty? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to hit the See how they pander me? Like, this is crazy. Okay, you, this you has been. It up. This has been. Stop trying to end the show. You don't decide when the show yeah, ends. She do. Go this ahead, is y'all. Over. Hit this it. has hit been it. yet another episode of Motherfucking No Disclaimers for Guests or whatever it is. And <laughs> <laughs> take us home. Bring us home with something, Pam. <laughs> You're the Pam of this show. Hey, quickly. Uh, yeah, hold up share the it, hold like it, up the light. <laughs> let your friends know about it. You know, people like be it, knowing, people be knowing. Right, people don't be, be stingy. Yeah, people definitely. Hey, shout be. out to Miami too. Yeah, yes. and it, NHS Radio, my our Miami fam, we love yes. y'all. Mm-hmm. We'll see y'all next week on No Disclaimers Podcast.